Hello, everybody. If you're wondering why I'm alone, Bobby has gone to get a big load downstairs. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's, it's handling with delivery service. So you got me for a couple of minutes and Atana will be coming in a little bit later on, right? So, yep, Con, Bobby and Tana will be joining shortly. All right, so how's your week been? Let's see who's in the chat. Say hi, man. Let's see. Uh, Das is really early. Vincent, hey, what's up? Bluefish, bluish blue back, right? Welcome to the show. And here we answer all your questions about what car to buy. So here's something to help you out in uh, uh, asking the questions, you know. Don't just ask like, you know, how about this car, how about that car? You know, I want you to take this opportunity to not ask theoretical questions. Ask cars that you really intend to buy, right? And then if you can, at least let us know. Don't say like 300,000 what car to buy. I mean, let us know. Like fun car, family car, SUV, you know, uh, weekend car. Some, something for us to know, right? Okay, so we got so many questions over here. Cut starting ready. Hey Tana, what's up, man? Tana will be joining soon. Got Gopal, Gary, uh, Alien Under, Kevin. Oh, by the way, join us on Horizon uh, Facebook, facebook.com slash Horizon because that's our Facebook live, and there will be most people hang, uh, hanging out over there. We can chat with everyone over there. Um, we can reply directly over there. So it's where the things are happening is in facebook.com slash Horizon. See down there, facebook.com slash Horizon. Can interact with you more over there all right hey jensen danny uh low budget racing okay um hey bluish bluish black no problem man uh eric obli all right let's see what questions do we have right now hey Bo oh bobby back ready oh, so fast huh, bobby sorry now he's lagging i is back yeah, yeah, is my, my massage bed right whoa i a massage bed Hey, answer this one for yeah. we go back and ask how's your week every day. Okay. Toyota Cross Hybrid. Hey, Bobby, have you driven this car, bro? Wait, I drove the Toyota Cross, but I cannot recall if it's hybrid. It's young. The one we, we drove is hybrid. Ah. No. Oh, it's not hybrid. Ah. <laughs> I cannot recall. <laughs> what what are you talking about, Jiang? <laughs> ah, yes. Ah, huh? you haven't reviewed the car. HP when oh. I drive it, you haven't reviewed. Oh, HP. Okay. Ah, yeah. oh, oh. HP when I drive it. Ah. Oh. Oh, ah. Okay, okay, okay. So don't know yet, but Toyota hybrids are like the most reliable hybrid. Ah. Right. But anyway, don't know the price. Don't know. So cannot answer. Sorry. All right. Yeah. It, you haven't went through the question one, is it? Uh, well, this is the first question, right? Wow, this one for you, Supra. bro. Hey, What's that? So, sorry, you press and I press at the same time. Sorry. Uh, yeah, you know which one I don't like real. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, the funny thing is, right? Vincent specified 10 speed as if to make it better for you. <laughs> bro, <laughs> 10 speed, man. Okay, like it's the it's the new the newest gearbox from Ford, like the ten speed gearbox, right? Yeah, yeah. it's a top converter if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay, the the the, the old six speed select speed I don't like uh. I don't like that gearbox at all. <laughs> you don't like but the car? I, right? No, I, I don't have a big phone. I'm not fond of Mustangs uh 2.3, especially 2.3. At least the five, the engine sings so nicely, but I'm, I'm not fond with the 2.3 at all. Yeah, yeah, so bro, you know my pick ready, man. It's quite straightforward. Yeah, he's a Thomas is a Porsche guy. Okay, la. Uh, the Supra 2.0, the price you pay is like what 300 or 280 or 300, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, there's a lot of money to pay for Supra, but it is still if you if you enjoy like driving like spirited driving and, and curvy roads I, I think i'll leave the mustang alone but if you want the car to look damn good right the mustang is the only one that looks damn good now right so my my pick was someone it came in because i just i just like the, the the small tight agile body may not be the fastest actually it's quite it's the fastest along this street too yeah 
actually you made your pick already you know amongst amongst this segment your your car arriving what the m2 so yeah, around this price point the the m2 m2 is around this price point right? your i mean i know your system m2, m2, m2 yes not the cs get the m2 not the c or the cs get the the, the base pack m2 two hundred sixty thousand seventy thousand. but bro the interior uh sorry uh it, it's so like basic <laughs> the supra more special like the interior you know yeah uh, out of these three, uh, Mustang suits me the most uh, because of the size of the car, the looks of it. Uh, but I think I think which one I would enjoy driving would be the Cayman. No? <laughs> mm. Okay. No? All right. Let's move on. Ah. Uh. All new hybrid Volvo with three cell batteries no longer come with twin engine only turbocharge. While engine performance is maintained. Does it make any sense? Little info on this online. So the uh they, they enlarge the battery. Doing the right? twin charge engine. They don't do the twin charge anymore, just turbocharge. Ah. Oh. Uh is it is it is it that they they up the i mean there are many ways to maintain engine power right there are just many many ways and uh i think this one they have a larger battery right if, are you talking about system output or just purely the the engine output system output the the i don't know what he means by three cells battery uh, but, but the new robos they get like what 466 horsepower the old ones are 407 anyway turbos is more efficient than superchargers so if you have the electric motor that covers the the lower speed applications right you don't need the supercharger you don't actually need the supercharger yeah yeah so yeah i, th I don't think this this is a place to discuss technology and all that because it will waste everybody's time uh we're here sort of to answer what car to buy, right? Uh, <laughs> what's that? What's that? It's, Thomas? It's, it's a rabbit hole. It's a rabbit hole. Yeah. I think I think CV Tan. I mean, this kind of discussion uh, we really encourage. But if your discussion remain on YouTube, right? Uh, it's very hard to reply you, tag things, post pictures and links and all that. This type of discussion is perfect if you watch this live on our Facebook page horizon.com uh, facebook.com slash horizon then then there can be a lot of meaningful discussion there people can post links videos pictures and all that youtube commenting system is just rubbish right but yeah it does make sense i mean to answer the question quickly it does make sense that what bobby said you don't you don't need the the whole charges are rather fast now and then you got the hybrid power to kick in i mean electric power to kick in you, you don't need the yeah. supercharger right yeah I, I just the supercharger mainly for low speed, ma. Before you have enough exhaust gas, right? You use a supercharger that's driven by the belt. But superchargers suck engine power, you know. Yeah. With the pulleys, yeah. All right, uh, Jordan C for the three pre facelift or facelift. Oh, of facelift, course, yeah. you facelift. can save money by going pre facelift. That's for sure. But I don't think you save that much either, right? Especially looking at the sedans. Uh, I would definitely go facelift uh jordan because number one you got a better gearbox the nine g tronic and you are fitted with the am if you're getting malaysian spec cars there's an amg performance exhaust it sounds way better okay um if you buy a pre-facelift i always tell people don't listen to how the actual exhaust sound on the facelift because when you do you'll feel like shock change <laughs> But if you have, if you can afford and you can pay it a little bit more, let's say 30,000, 40,000 premium, definitely go for it. Because AMG exhaust are the ones you can't aftermarket like M performance exhaust. You cannot, it's, it's, ah. uh, it, aftermarket is very difficult. Some people retrofit it, but it's a, a, no one's going to do it for you, Malaysia. It's very hard, right? And you got the button. You know, so, so the Thomas, I want to ask you the the price difference of a pre facelift versus facelift right the the money that you save right is is impossible to mod your pre facelift to be as good as the facelift right 
Uh, no, because you, the gearbox you can't mod. You can't mod the gearbox, right? And you don't have yeah. the AMG. Oh, the gearbox is way better. The gearbox is way better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Of course, you get the the nice um you know nice LCD screen, which I don't like. I prefer the analog screen. But for some people, it's a plus, definitely. So if you have the money, please go for the base tip. It's absolutely worth the money. You'll thank me later. Okay. Uh, okay. Again, done. <laughs> Bobby, the ending to stay about this. <laughs> no, ah, all GTI can do daily. La. Megan, 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 Megan is like barely can do daily. Golf GTI definitely can do daily. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's still I one think... of the most practical cars out there. La. I'm driving the Mark 5, Mark 5 Golf GTI around. I'm like, like why would you what else can you buy right for this kind of price for fifty thousand forty thousand i'm like wow it does so many things yeah yeah you know what's what's funny is that the golf r has taken the historical place of what the golf gti was supposed to do and every day daily able very very sporty hot hatch you know so the GTI now, right, with its horsepower of what's that? What's the horsepower? 230, 245. You know, 245. It's no longer it, this kind of horsepower in today's world, right? Is is what a, a BMW normal 328i, you know, it 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 just to me is it's 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. What I want to see is I want to see like a 300 horsepower golf GTI. And then the Golf R is one without real seats with roll cage, you know, this kind of stuff. Then yeah. we're talking. Yeah, then yeah. we're talking. Yeah, yeah you're right. Because in 2000 and I think 2008 or seven, that's yeah. when they launched the Mark 5 Golf GTI. Yeah. Uh, it has it has a turbocharger 2.0. It has the DSG. Yeah. It has multi multiple uh, uh, independent suspension in the rear. Yeah. It was like, wow, like it, it just like destroyed performance in in the category is like yeah it destroyed everybody yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so whereas now, now your yeah. your again has what 280 horses right rs the rs280 yeah. horses the the i mean even even toyota's man i mean hey what the hatchback uh? no no no, no toyota. <laughs> I <even talk>. <laughs> <laughs> okay if you're looking at buying a golf gti there is a certain golf r for sale from a very very famous person called Ivan Kong, he might throw in a lesson or two about how to drive. You know, you can buy his golf R off him. All right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it's hard to beat the golf R, la. Like, like you can talk about like again being like more sportier and everything, but really, really, yeah. Golf golfs are just so good. They're so good. There's nothing to complain, and and it's a very respectable car actually. Very respectable. Yeah. 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 As much right. as I love my Megan, I mm. I still think golfs are, are to be respected. Yeah, so much. Yeah, but Megan drives more special. This is the same argument between like the Mazda three and the Civic FE. You know, the Civic is a you can't argue, but the Mazda three has that little zing that the, the Civic doesn't have when it comes to a handling. Right. right. Mm. FK seven manual one point five to what about FK seven? What is that manual? What's the FK seven? Honda FK, no. Honda is it? Oh, okay. The 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 Euro. What's that? Hey, got got such thing. One point five FK seven Malaysia, man. Eh? Or maybe he's not from all oh, this Malaysia. Maybe people brought it in, ah. Uh. Oh, you got all. Screw that, lah. Just buy a F thirty, lah. Come on, lah. <laughs> Don't. Oh, over pages for a shorter back law is it doesn't make sense law it's a civic one you you have to really hate the civic to buy this you know you can buy the fe civic why, why the hell you wanna i mean of course you can mod it to look like the fk8 r la, but but what do you get out of it you're sitting inside the car whatever you mod is outside the, the chassis, oh no la. i i i i think uh daily and farm weekend car i think i think you go for the 3 la. if I you want a hatchback that 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 look for look for them again <laughs> no, exactly but, but, yeah, 
G G O I G G O I. You you pay hundred seventy k for this. Ah,、uh, three months later you regret. Really? Yeah, it's just it yes, only take you three months to regret. Yeah. No. Get get the three series. Hi guys, nothing to ask. Looking around for Park Two Zero Eight. Guys, if you know any of、uh, Park Two Zero Zero Eight, you can、uh, message Jess Song over there. She's super cool. She drives a manual. She she saw our weekend drives, and then one day she she was still fixing up the Picanto, and then she came with a、uh, Almera, and then so Jess Jess want to buy a Peugeot Two Thousand Eight. Yeah. How about uh Ekang's. Peugeot two zero eight GB, bro. Different category, bro. That one is <laughs> with different purposes. Okay, but Jess is a driver. She's a driver. Yes, she's a yeah. Manual picanto. Yes, buy a car that can go enduro. Okay, we want to see you join us to the entire May Hong Son. Okay. Hey MJ. So right. Ah,、uh, how is the FE CVT improved, Bobby? Uh, I mean Honda CVTs to me they've never been bad, but this CVT doesn't sound like CVT. This CVT sounds like a supercharger. I kid you not. Freaking sounds like a supercharger. I don't know. I don't know whether it's intentional or not because it just doesn't make the usual CVT sound. It makes the usual supercharger sound. If you watch my video, right, you can hear it.、Right? When I go up, you can up, watch you... out on、uh, Bobby's video. Google, Google, Google.、Uh, What supercharger? Be on a Civic FE review. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Currently driving a 2006 Saga. Plan to get a 2011 323E30. Bro, why 323? Go for 325. Yellow. Yeah, look, why look, can't you go for 325? Same road tax. How much money do you save on the 323? That's the thing. Oh, it's the same road tax. It's a two point five. But how much do you save in 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 terms of money? Okay, three two、no. three is around thirty six thousand to forty five thousand. Okay. No. Right. Take your three two three budget and nego a three two five. They will let go and trust me. Right. These cars they will let go. What's that? Oh, okay. Yeah.、Uh, There are not much difference in price too. Maybe maybe a two thousand twelve one is fifty seven thousand, right? Ah,、uh -huh. yeah. At the most is fifty thousand. Sorry, fifty fifty seven thousand. Yeah, is is like ten thousand ringgit more, right? No, how yeah, much is a three two three? How much is a three two three? Three two three is averaging around thirty six to forty five thousand. Okay, you, okay you just you just take your thirty six thousand budget and offer a three two five guy, even though he might be asking fifty k for his car, right? You just offer him thirty five, then see where you go from there, because he's fifty plus thousand, right? He go to a a used car dealer, right? The dealers will offer him thirty plus or so. So you don't bother what price they are asking, or what price they intend to sell. Don't care. All right, you just walk up to them. You see, there are two thousand nine cars asking fifty eight. You get what I mean? By looking at okay, to be fair, you look for a later one, ah, two thousand eleven, two thousand twelve, lah, right? You find the latest one. You look look for this two thousand twelve one. You check the rash card whether it's proper two thousand twelve. But but sure, you can. But I I agree what Bobby said. You offer them. I mean, there's nothing wrong、yeah. calling and say hi. I'm I'm interested in your car, but、yeah. um, I can take it for you know forty five thousand. No, thirty、right? six. Thirty six or forty thousand, yeah. You, because you、yeah. see, ah,、uh, uh, like Bobby said, some people, ah,、uh, when they put it on the used car market, right? Okay. Ah,、yeah. uh, they, they, the used car dealer will take quite a lot of money. Oh, this looks、right. good. This one looks good. The leather, the facelift headlamp. This is the facelift headlamp, right? Uh, yeah. E. E. Oh, the leather looks good. Anyway, you just take your whatever budget. You walk up to the late, the newest three two five I you can find, you know, and then and then you just 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 throw him your your offer, right? At worst, you made a friend. What can go wrong, right? And then when he say, oh, cannot lah, cannot lah, you say it's simple. I'm looking for an E ninety. There are so many out there. I mean, you want to wait? You wait. Look, comfort access is standard. <sighs> killer's entry, ah, ayah, bro, killer's entry. Sorry to say, lah. 
very fast it will stop working already la. already 10 years la, like, <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't know no, I, I, I don't think it's a big deal I know a lot of people they, 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 they think yeah, it's a big it's deal, a big deal. I, my it's spider has no killers entry you yeah. know my <laughs> When I bought my M2 competition, I don't care if it's skills entry or not. You know, at yeah. least for me, la, I, I speak for myself. I don't know about a lot of people. I don't think it's a big deal. You know, I don't think it's a big deal. Yeah. My my Audi has my, my RS6 has skillless entry. It's a 2014 car. It's already beginning to like you touch it once, then it doesn't react. Then you touch it again, then it react, you know? It it already starts like that already. So mm. Yeah. Which engine is on the 323 again? Uh, it's the... Oh, I don't know about all this code. Uh. Con is not here. Yeah. Am I la? Just yeah. get the yeah. one with the larger engine, la, bro. Just get the one with the larger engine. La. If you can find a 335i, ooh, beautiful. Because, right. uh, oh, it's the N52 B25. And then uh, it's just tuned differently. La. Yeah, yeah, tuned differently. Yeah. He's buying cash, right? Uh, yeah, and M fifty two B twenty five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need the four doors, my friend. Does he need the four door? <laughs> oh, okay, no, no. Three five damn expensive way. I think the three five holds the value better. Three two five holds value better than the than the three 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 two five will be better than the three three five i. Mm. Easy to sell also. That's that's what I think, uh huh. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's a okay. Come back to his original question. Okay, let's come back. We know it's still very far. Uh, I think it's a good good. I think if you enjoy driving, uh, Bashiro, either you go three two three or three two five five. I think it's a uh, it's definitely an upgrade in the chassis department and also in the fun driving department. That that is that is for sure. Without a question, it is way better. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but you gotta put up with a bit of maintenance stuff because it's not a, it's not exactly a new car anymore. It's closing 11, 12 years old. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I think it's a great buy, but she will go for it, man. Go for it. Yeah. Right. Get a three two five i. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Got an older car question for your days. Two zero zero five Honda Odyssey luxury. Oh yo. Ah. Huh? Two thousand five is what RB ah. Uh? Honda Odyssey. I, 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 I just know a lot of Honda Odyssey in Singapore when I'm there. <laughs> it's an RB one. Oh, no. Oh yeah, it is the RB one. Oh, I like I like the way it looks. Oh, RB one. How much is it? Yes, I don't know. Twenty plus. Thirty. That'll be too high, right? Two thousand and what ah? Uh? Five, right? 2005, uh, 40k, 40 plus, 30 plus. Mm, 30 plus. What else can mm. you buy for that? I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a. Oh, yo, get the absolute version. Absolute version got like higher horsepower and get the absolute. <laughs> I mean the, the the other other choice would be an Estima law, but Estima wouldn't be that cheap also. 2005. That, about there, I think. 2005 Estima, yeah, around there also lah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I I think the Honda Odyssey looks cooler. Oh, it looks yeah. cooler. Yes. There's, there's, it looks like there's, a mini, it's like a large like a large wagon like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that time they had this segment called family wagons. So. They are actually wagon profile, but they have three rows of seats. Uh, Mitsubishi makes one, Subaru makes one, Honda makes one. Mitsubishi Toyota has the, any... yeah, Toyota has the Wish, right? Oh, yeah, and then yeah, Honda yeah. came out with the Stream. That time it was popular, like, the family wagon category. If I if I don't remember wrongly, the Absolute makes like what two hundred horsepower or close to close to that. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, these cars, right? Parts, parts are everywhere, and uh, you share parts with the city, uh, to the Accord, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, that, that parts are everywhere. Modification parts are everywhere. This, this, especially this Odyssey, it has a cult following. Uh, so there are tons of parts to mod. 
tons. The book so, version is 190 horses. Yeah, yeah. So the, the mm. normal one is 160, 190 horses mm. uh, with a variant of a... Uh, wait, sorry. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. 190 is not right. bad for the era, you know? Mm. Yeah, it looks cool. Okay. <laughs> Thomas, <Okay. laughs> Thomas. <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> oh, this one's good for my car wash. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Prakash, what's up, man? Uh, so, Ooh. who is that? Bashiro, uh, we welcome. And those are the questions we'd like to answer, guys. Like, like Bashiro yeah. is a genuine question. So, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. genuine question like that. Hi guys, got my RX three hundred today. Thanks to you guys. Yay, Congratulations, congrats. bro! All right, congrats. Uh we can write Saturday or Sunday. It's every Saturday. Yeah, it was just last week we changed to. It was just yesterday we changed to Sunday only. It will still but be I Saturday. Dare say this. There usually yeah. some people will just roll up to that station on Sunday and then they go for a solo drive or they might pass. Yeah, yeah, someone. yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. feel free to go out, go to that go to that place. Sometimes you might see a spider there, or you might see a mini cooker classic. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes we do double dips, right? Yeah, yeah. Why not? But mostly uh, we do Saturday uh, consistently, right? And to 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 let everyone know the drive is not like an organized drive. You know, like everyone, you know, you know, we're not going to convoy. And we understand mm. some people would like to go bookie thingy. You want to go KKB? You can go anywhere you want. Just the meetup rendezvous point is there. Of course, yeah. the main group will always like to go to Gunding, uh, yeah. for a good reason because it's not too far. Uh, it's nice and cold, and uh, you know the roads are safer because you got two lanes versus one yes. tight small little lane. So yes. we always feel uh, uh Gunting does thirst uh, quench our thirst better for most of the regulars and, and but, there's there's toilet there's coffee there's snacks there you know ample car parks yeah. yeah you can you can chat outdoor for a long time because you won't sweat because the air is cold and nice yeah, yeah. You, you can eat and then after that you can go to Gotong to makan there's, there's there's all kinds of food there and we've been to yeah. many places at kkb no place to eat <laughs> so no Kim place to go pee there. No, no place, place to, to pee bushes bushes for the girls and sorry lah for the ladies yeah yeah Yellow, yeah. yellow. So that's why we go Genting, right? Yeah, it's it's. We found the most practical within one hour kind of drive. The most yeah. practical place. Yeah. So yeah. come, come and join us, guys. Uh, club dot sign up, and then our future drives, everything will be there. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's free, but you need to be a car owner. If you're not a car owner, you cannot join Evo Club. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh. X50 or 2008 Peugeot, which is a better buy. Long time waiting for the X570. How's the after sales service of Peugeot? I think the after sales service of Peugeot, I mean, now that Peugeot is under Burmas, right? I mean, the Mazda distributor took over Peugeot distribution. I mean, put it this way they can't, it's impossible for them to fire everybody overnight and then hire everybody overnight and train everybody right so it takes time for it to be improved but at least you know it's under good hands now right at least Peugeot now is under good hands not under NASA anymore so I, I believe it will take some time but yeah uh, I, 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 I genuinely like the car because like all French cars they are just unique okay and I believe if you are aftering um, if you're after reliability, you would have gone with a CHR or a HRV anyway, right? Or a Corolla Cross, right? It's, it's, it's pretty obvious you want something special. So X50 is default, really good, um, but <laughs> no stock. <laughs> no stock means no car. You want to buy, also cannot, right? So uh, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed the 2008. So I think it's quite unique. So as for the after sales, I I don't think it's up to the levels of Toyota in any time or Mazda, but at least it's under good hands. Okay. That's all I can say. I think I think the Peugeot would last I mean like the most of the things are okay now. The Prince engine has gone through so many reiterations and yeah. uh fixes. And they got the Icin six speed, which is very reliable. 
Mm. Okay, and I think the later version, the face lifted version 208, the tuning of the, the icing gearbox is actually very nice. Yeah, very, mm. very, very nice tuning. Yeah. 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 So yeah, 208 is a very sorted car. It, it actually is a good good comparison. I would go for 208 actually for me. Yeah. Mm. Looks more special, right? New Accord or Santa Fe Diesel? Santa Fe Diesel. <laughs> done. <laughs> okay, done. I really don't like the question. Question. I think oh. Sorry, Thomas, you continue first. I, I think you, you talked about this before, so you know. Ah. Uh I, I love both cars. I love both of them. Uh I don't like how the LC drives at high speeds. What I mean is like when you go 180, 200, I don't like the light steering wheel. Uh, whereas S Class Cabrio, there's no handling to be uh, to be mentioned in any way here because it's a freaking boat. Uh, I do love the S Class Cabrio, how it looks, uh, the luxury and all that. But I would bet my money that the S Class Cabrio, uh, the hi Dana, the S Class Cabrio will be extremely unreliable. <laughs> not just compared to an LC, not just compared to an LC, but even compared to probably my 10 year old BMW 6 Series Cabrio, because the S Class Cabrio is stuffed with so much technology. Yeah. Stuff. It is, it is, it is the, the amount of technology that they stuff into the car, right? It's just. I, I don't know how to how to describe it. Let's let's amaze let's let's imagine you stay in a condo whereby your curtains are motor powered, your cupboard doors are remote control, control open and close, uh your fans are you know uh, uh you can clap your hands and your fans will turn. Yeah. I'll, give, and, I'll give you an idea of it. It's like yeah, if the, if the switch on your door Normally, you press a switch and then it will send a signal, right? Huh? Here, the yeah. switch will activate a mechanism to pull the switch to able to send a signal somewhere else to pull the cable to unlock the door. Yes. Uh, okay. You know, I have a, I have an exact example. So in yes. a C class, right? In 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 a in a C class, you have your aircon vents, right? You have the little rollers there that 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 let's say you in, in European cars, uh, let's say you you roll the dial. And then the thing controls the air vents to to like you know close it or open it right in an s class right you roll it and then you can hear the motor inside mm. it's like why why, why? Yeah. yeah yeah so every every time i think about getting a s class of here i do my homework on cars right now and i yeah. say s class what cheaper and then I look yeah. at the electronics and, and the system and the system like wow really complicated yes so uh oh, they say if you can mm. afford it you deserve it <laughs> yes <laughs> yes yes so <laughs> let's say let's say we put the reliability thing aside i see mm. myself uh i mean s class is one of those cars. s class cabrio is the is the is the one car that i really really like from mercedes benz uh. Um, I don't know lah. I like I like I like both lah, But I think maybe I see myself in the S class cabrio more because it has four seats. So. Yeah. Oh my Ooh. god. And and then and then the problem is, uh, you pay a quarter of S class cabrio money, you get an E class cabrio <laughs> that 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 looks ninety percent like an S class cabrio. Yeah. And then you take the rest of the money, you buy a second hand LC 500. <laughs> oh, yes. The non convertible, the, 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 yeah. the, the, the coupe, right? 500K. Oh, right. my God. I still love this car. Like, the S Class Cabrio, my God. Anyway. Anna, anyways. Okay, this one. He say sorry, he's asking GTS 2 or 4. Oh, uh, whether C24 or C4S uh, or C4? Uh, uh, yeah, C4 GTS or C4, C2 GTS. So yeah. GTS, yeah. there is uh, also a C2 and C4, is it? Yes. Mm. Wow. Mm. Uh, I, 
I, I'm quite indifferent. I okay, I, I don't feel the four wheel drive for Porsche is that corrupting, but I guess is you are if you are yeah, more correct, new driving, the security it totally of the doesn't affect it totally yeah, doesn't it does affect the drive. More, but it does give you a wider stance. The the 991.2, the, the four gives you a wider, fatter stance. So yeah. I don't like that. I don't like it. I think nine levels have grown too fat. So too I fat, will go yeah. for the two. Yeah, two. Mm. Mm. Oh. And I like rear-wheel drive. La. I just like rear-wheel drive. Mm. Yeah. Oh. But Porsche four-wheel drive is amazing. Right? It doesn't doesn't affect how the car steers. Right? Like like how the M340i immediately, it cannot do things the, the normal rear-wheel drive can do. Yep. You know? yep. If you are, if you are, how do I say it? If you, if you like to, to have the more, I mean, you'd like to, how do I say uh Okay, if you're like an Audi driver, okay, <laughs> then you <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm hurt. No, man. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, okay <laughs> you, the, the, the four wheel does give you a bit more confidence around the corner. Okay, you can okay, like, a I bit it, earlier. I, let me in let the me, wet, of course, the four yeah. better. Okay, and, and stuff, but let, I, okay. I don't think it's a lot more like fun. To have four, I don't know. I just it's a personal preference in the end. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Thomas. Uh, how about this lah? Uh? <laughs> I find that no matter what you get in terms of confidence, four wheel drive, quattro, whatever, sometimes uh, it's nice to be naughty. And I think rear wheel drive gives you that whole naughty feeling, like you know. So yes, yes. They, they, there's more. Very well. Yeah, the there's a lot of fun factor, uh, and and I think Porsche, even a four wheel drive. Uh, it's still naughty. There's still the naughtiness in there, you know. Yeah. Mm, uh, yeah. Unlike uh, Audi four-wheel drive, the naughtiness is gone. It's just very German confident, you know. Bro, Tana, <laughs> Audi, yeah. Audi four-wheel or not four-wheel, also not naughty or not? Yeah, not naughty. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's, it's BMW. The M340i isn't as naughty as a normal rear-wheel drive BMW. No, it's yeah, not. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. Bobby, guess, yeah. guess what I'm doing now with my 3 to 8. I'm 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 designing the rear uh, second rear caliper setup. Handbrake oh. pull. Handbrake pull. <laughs> wow. Because why man. it's it's fun, man. You know, it's what happens with Able Drive car. Hey bro, I've been starting to do handbrake pulls with my mini now, bro. If my car park out, right? If my car park, I go Wee! my mini. <laughs> I, 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 I do that in my Maybe, bro. Maybe is <laughs> in car park fantastic, you know. Because, because yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. easy, so much fun. Okay, yeah. back to uh, MZM. Uh, just take note. You, 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 one thing is the stance, lah. Uh, which one is fat? One fatter, one smaller. Uh, if you want me, if you want me and Tana say you like something naughty and fun, just go two wheel drive. But four wheel drive, you're not, you're not missing out too much. To it, it's, it's still Porsche does very intuitive. Uh, four wheel drives. Yeah, uh, I, I vote for four wheel when it's a Porsche. Yeah, when it's a Porsche, it's not a GT car, it's not a GT RS car, so by all means, you know, yeah. I, I will go with my version, for better gearbox with two year old. Oh, no, 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 C43, C43, uh, I will go with C43. Yeah. Mm. C43. It's more special yeah. among these three. You got a beautiful soundtrack, you know, even though I don't like the, the, the way it steers, but hell, Makan is not going to go around the corners like, like freaking. You know, Holy shit! Three hundred and ten case. What sing dollar ah? Holy Ooh, shit! Buy, uh. Holy yeah. shit! That's one million ringgit, bro. One million ringgit, bro. Move to Malaysia, la, yeah. Singaporeans. Yeah. Singaporeans. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I don't know. Can 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 we do this? Uh? Any Singaporeans watching, right? Can we do like a meet up in Johor, which we will go. We will drive down to Johor, and then you guys, Singaporeans, come up. And then we will try our best to persuade you all to buy a house in Malaysia and buy cars in Malaysia and just enjoy the <laughs> out of it. I mean, the, the Lee family won't take your car away every 10 years, you know, force you to pay ransom. Bro, okay. the problem is that our Singapore, my uncle from Singapore say that, oh, Malaysian currency is the depreciating asset. <laughs> Whatever. It only works to his benefit, right? No so one's stopping in him from hoarding sing dollars in Malaysia. No one's stopping him doing that. Okay. 
just come here lah. Seriously. I guess even if it's a depositing asset, the fact you have a, a house you can stay, that value is there. If you if you buy a house, then different lah. But the value of the house, the car yeah. is there. No, it's, it's it's not exactly. depreciating. Yeah. But yeah, go for the C forty three, bro. I think I think it's it's the it's the car to go. It's more unique among the three. Yeah. Right? Put your foot down, you're gonna smile, right? Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. Makan is like, oh, I perform well all the time. You know, I'm I'm good, I'm perfect. But the the C forty three gives you that smile. Right? I mean, right? it's like if you are in Sing Singapore, it's not like you can buy many cars, lah. So you got to make sure your car you buy is is monumental something. Fantastic, la. So yeah, I agree. Mm. I mean, it's the it's the difference between buying the most expensive C class, the sensible one, lah, huh? The most sensi yeah. expensive, yeah. sensible C class versus you buy the cheapest Porsche, right? Anyway, uh, M three forty I versus C forty three W two o six. The new C forty three W two o six is two liter, right? It's no longer three liter, right? Ah uh, yes, it's the two liter. Ah, uh, four hundred. Eh? Yeah, power, 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 yes, power, 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 yes, yes. But uh, they, I mean, you know our answer, lah, Sherman. Ah, we prefer BMWs. Ah, how BMWs drive? <laughs> there, lah. I, I mean, it remains to be seen because we haven't driven this new C forty three. It remains to be seen. Yeah. 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 Okay. Right. <laughs> All hail the new C is coming, Anthony. Oh, <laughs> You not CS, bro. I need to talk about someone else. Okay. What's the difference between it's, CS and C? It's four times, uh, it's twice as more expensive. Almost more than wow. twice as expensive. You mean the yes. CS, ah? Yes. The C and the CS. It's 80 so plus thousand pounds, 89,000 pounds, something like that. What and a ripoff. Yeah, and then the new a new uh, M2C is 42,000 pounds, around there, 40 to 44. And then how you stack it, lah. Like uh, how how is a CS better than uh than your C? Because it is an Evo car of the year two thousand and twenty. Ah, uh, just a hole in the bonnet. What else? Hey, a lot of things, bro. Suspension tuning, adaptive suspension, uh, more powerful engine tuning, manual gearbox. You know, a carbon roof. Marketing. They give carbon roof to the car for so long. For me, it's all marketing. For me, for me, Thomas, uh, the only reason why I would get, like, let's say, an R versus a Golf or a CS, if the engine internals are different, I, I can still like, buy, like, you know? But all this other stuff, uh, I'll, I'll do up anyway, like, so... Ah, yeah, bro, yeah. You know, uh, it's the thing like the roof, the carbon roof. Everybody is telling, why can't you give a carbon roof to an M2 competition? They know, even competition, nope, you're not going to give it a carbon roof. So it's like exactly what happened to the M5. It's what they should have done to the M2. It's what they should mm, have they done. They just want to charge you more. <laughs> la. I mean, how it's much, how much weight? Done. How much weight can that save? You know, it's all marketing. Okay. All marketing. I, I, I definitely think it will drive better than the M2C. Yeah. Okay. But is it worth twice the money? I don't know. I don't know. You I, know, it, it's it not worth be, it. You know, you know. Okay. <laughs> for example, like if you buy a Boxster 3.4, okay. Yeah. And then you get a spider. There is the or you go for a Carrera GTS and a GT4. There is a big difference. Okay, there's an absolute clear difference in the car. Or you get a, a GT3 versus a, 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 a 991.2 Carrera GTS. There is an absolute difference. So when you pay double, you know that you're getting something absolutely different, right? Like yeah. Anna say internal different or suspension also, different, yeah, uh, or the steering is different, or something is different, right? You know something that you can't mod, right? And, I mean, and... yeah. You, you look at Alexis G G uh, G G three. The mm. engine is better, obviously, but his yeah. shocks change to Olin's. His uh, exhaust change to what they call Akrapovich. So if those are the things that are selling for, he already took up, huh? Why not? So what else is different? So the main thing is the chassis, is the engine. Those things are very hard to tune, like no. So you cannot engine, get there. In right. the case of chassis, you cannot you cannot tune it because it, it's welded yeah. differently. Its mountings are mounted differently. So yeah, but I, but, I like a, but like like M two and like CS and M two C, would it be much different in chassis? The same engine. 
Ah, yeah, okay, maybe yeah. they make it less comfortable, you know, this kind of stuff. Mm. So, yeah, uh, so oh, by the way, uh, just to correct, uh, Anthony, yes, it's just M2C, it's not a CS. If I had, if I'm going to pay uh, a million ringgit, 800,000 a million ringgit, I will be getting a 458, not a M2CS. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will punch you if you pay 1 million for an M2. You know, while saying, you think you're Singaporean? Ah? <laughs> okay, yes, so man. many questions over here. Uh, guys, you're so behind. 820. I tell you what. Oh my what god. Is that we just, we, okay, if you're still watching and the question is not answered, why don't we we just you ask the question again? We we'll start from now. Okay, so that you know, because sometimes you may answer the question, the person's not watching anymore. So let's just try one more time and then we ask the question, then we start again. Uh, Bro. 300,000. 450k for a Prius. What the heck, bro? That's like what? Uh, 450 yen. You can buy a... Yeah. 150k you can for a... You can, buy, you, can, you can buy, almost buy a, a Carrera 911.1. <laughs> Can't wait to meet in Johor already. He's like, come, Singaporeans, come. Oh my God. What well, the heck can do, bro, 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 bro? To, to, to make our Singaporean friends happier or Malaysian friends happier. All the cars yeah. come in, right? We we park them to their counterpart that is same price in, 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 in Ouch. Ringgit. Ouch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my God. Someone bring someone bring their their Audi A5, the new Audi A5, 250,000 sing. Then you park next to it a Ferrari 458. <laughs> Ayo. I Seriously, yeah, any Singaporeans here, please just, just buy a house in, in Malaysia. Right, right, just buy a house in Malaysia and uh, but I tell you what, you can buy a Lambo or can buy this kind of car in Singapore, you're really baller, man. You're baller. I tell you what, I respect you. You're baller. Probably, apparently, I heard Singaporeans can't drive Malaysian cars in Singapore. Huh? Yes, no. Singaporeans cannot drive Malaysian cars in Singapore. So like my my brother for example when he convert to a let's say he convert to a, a Singaporean like PR for example he mm. cannot drive a Malaysian car into Singapore. Oh really? Yeah. You give a PR? I, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, citizen, yes. citizen, yeah. Citizen only yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Cannot. Cannot. They want your tax mm. money. Money. They want your there, money. There, there's too many questions. Oh my god. Okay, but I heard you can appoint a Malaysian driver and drive the car in, in Singapore. La. Three two five I or five two eight I. Five three five I for me. Newer model, yeah lah. I mean, if if to be honest, the the new uh, is 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 this five two eight I the 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 B forty eight? No right. Five no. series never never no, received no, no, no. the B forty eight right. No. Yeah. So. Bobby, but the five two eight I. Hmm? The 525 is that a hmm. 3.0? Yes. Then the 211 528 is a 3.0, isn't it? No, no. 211 528 is a 3.0 NA. Oh, I see. So, so the 212 is the okay, okay. It's same, the as same as my engine, same as the 525. Okay. To, yeah. to, to, if you really are bothered about the aesthetics, uh, you can mod some of it. You can also, you know, swap the bumpers and get an M Sport, a new one and stuff. Or, I don't know. I just, I just think the M fifty five is so nice. Mm. You know, it's just so nice. The M fifty five is so nice. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. I will do the same I'll thing. Go for the one with the with the, I'll go for the one with the turbo. Uh. You can, you can tune more, get more power out of it. So, I mean, is the yeah. Both yeah, turbo. both are turbo, both are turbo. So the 528i, right, 2 liter turbo, mm -hmm. is also a very good engine, you know, uh, and the interior is newer, you get the lights and all that. You ask yourself, do you need, do you need the six cylinder, you know, 320 horsepower, uh, 306, 306, 306 or 310, something like that, 310 horsepower. 306 with yeah. uh, 400, uh, 350, yeah. 380 to the top. The five two eight i right can be modded mm -hmm. to to close to three hundred as well. The five two eight i, yeah. So, 
it's it's really up to you because you know one is one is three hundred eighty ringgit road tax, one is two thousand one hundred ringgit road tax. Uh, but if you, you are planning, sorry, sorry, Thomas, you can't beat the smoothness of the N fifty five, the six cylinder, the smoothness. True, yeah. very true. Uh, and the tunability, the amount of power you can squeeze out of it. If you plan to keep these cars, both cars, right, for let's say fifteen years. You plan to keep them for fifteen years, right? Your five three five i will be worth a lot more money than the five two eight i fifteen years later. All right. Now there is a difference because the five two eight i is still pretty new, a huge difference. But I think not. You don't even need fifteen years, ah. Maybe eight years, ten years down the road, right? Your five three five i will be worth more than the than the five two eight i. Yeah. I've given the three three five to the the engine. It was. Much more, like there's volume to it, like the, the way it drives, the way it pulls. Mm -hmm. Yes, I feel, yes. You know? um, the six cylinder sound of the end of this, very nice. Yeah, nice. no doubt okay. the 5.2.8 is great, uh, but I think the 5.5.3.5 five, three, five is, is, a, is a sweeter car. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, just to answer a quick question over here, uh, last time we spoke to uh, Eric, Win Eric Winters in uh, I think last year, right. They, they are planning yeah. to to move uh, to a different segment so you're likely less to see a vw polo very less likely yeah uh, I yeah think, i think they are focusing more of the golf kind of two hundred thousand range and above yeah Tiguan, that's where they belong yeah yeah so they they will discontinue likely they were going to do that i don't think they will they will struggle for that market they can't they can't compete in that segment now. yeah not in mm. asia tough yeah, no, that's why you see they stopped the Polo, Vento, all these days. They stopped already. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Maybe in Singapore, can uh, because Singaporeans pay 150,000 for Viras. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 what's that? Two little high spec or brand new 2.5. Brand new two little high spec or brand what? Okay, basically it's a CX5 2.0 or a CX5 2.5. Ah, uh, you have the money, you buy the bigger engine. Uh. It's NA. When it's NA, always buy the bigger engine. Always just buy the bigger engine. Uh, two liter, yeah, not enough power. 2.5, just nice. Just nice. Hello, Con. Okay. Hello. Actually, depends on how you look at it. Um, I have a, two, a CX5 2.0 in my mother's house. It's, yeah. it's adequate. But Etiquette. yeah, if you can afford the 2.5, but yeah, yeah, it's adequate. But yeah. remember, these days, right, mm. the highways are full of X50s. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, they see your two liter CX5, uh, they're gonna come hunt they you. Yeah, yeah, and whether you mm. are con or not, you need to fuck off from the fast lane if your CX5 That's two liter <laughs> is yes. faced with yes. your X15 from behind. All right. Correct, correct, yes. Well, yes. five, you still can you still can play. <laughs> You're still in yeah. the game. <laughs> yeah, true, that's true. And I, and I think the 2.5 vortex is actually quite quite low. La. I mean, above yeah, that, then we are It's just nice. And I think SUV is even lower because it's an I SUV. Mean, uh, no. Lower. no, no, it's, oh, it's, it's no. not a, it's, it's not no a SUV, no discount. Yeah. Oh, okay. My, my, like my average big, does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my, my average, I get the discount. It's a yes, van. It's only. Yours is a big SUV. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so, so like I get... said last time, Cayenne 3 liter Rotex is cheaper than Macan 3 liter Rotex. Yep. Oh, yes. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's, it's cheap. It's the same as my Boxster, la. 880 a month, la. 880 a year, la. you know, so quite cheap. This guy asking a few times today. So I think it's him. La. I see a friend asked, but I think it's him. La. It's him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. uh, car budget to do okay 3k monthly six foot two well, my answer is a six so detail sure is your friend uh. <laughs> yeah, <Six foot>. <laughs> <laughs> okay i said mine already Frank, uh 640 i grand coupe done oh yeah it's tall huh? and you save money oh, i think hundred eighty thousand. tall guy confirmed can sit one you can sit in front back no problem you yeah. want to do kama yeah. super behind so no problem you know yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not a 640i, not a, yeah. but Thomas, a 640i would be a great car to roll into the hotel lobby with. 
can get Panamera or not? Cannot, huh? Decide, lah. Hey, don't, don't, don't mess with Panamera, bro. The, the, the old, the, the, the previous gen one don't look that nice, lah. And not mm. reliable, right? Mm. This engine is way better than the Panamera. The F-85 is way better than the F-85. Yeah. Bro, the engine is not as good as the Panamera. The Panamera is nowhere close to the performance of this one. I mean, for for what the Panamera is, that engine is a bit like 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 Astella. It's like Uncle Car. Mm. Like, it, it powers yeah. there, you it, but it's not as sports, sporty and all that. Stuff there. Which yeah. engine you're talking about? The three point three point six. Oh, three point six. Ah, uh, yeah lah. Three point six. No power. Ah. So, yeah, no power. I mean, on paper, yeah. it shows, ooh, 300 horsepower. Wow. Takes a long time to unleash. Saya ada 300, Mia. You tunggu aja. I mean, depends Depends uh, how you drive. Lah. If he's happy with driving comfortably. Yeah. These are all cash mm. buy already. Uh. All these are cash yeah. buy. Yeah, yeah. But, but, the, but the the the, the no, BMW yeah. is in loan. Sorry, yeah, BMW uh, last year, I think. The last year, I... even even if you can oh, get oh. loan, right? You're talking about, I think, 70% loan, thereabouts, and three year loan, about three years, 10 years, yeah, three year, yeah. 20%. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, this one 2013 going for oh, nice. Five. Oh, la la same buy la. Actually, con. I think you should buy this uh, over whatever M five whatever, right? What the Panamera? No, no, no. Hey, no la. This one is only like fifteen k right. below an M five. Uh. I think you should buy M five uh. no, Don't buy what? this one. Oh. Bro, bro, bro. Oh, yeah, I'm selling yeah. on the private chat. Faster, faster. Show this one. Show, show. Sure, sure. It's very nice. It's very nice. I think, I think con. I think con need to buy one of these, bro. I think it's more reliable. I actually genuinely don't mind. An N55 engine as a daily car. Then you buy this, bro. Up, bro but this one, bro. I don't think you like the image, lah. Con, you don't like sporty image. You like uncle. Image. <laughs> <laughs> right? Wow, you burn, burn. burn. But, ooh. oh, you don't mind. Actually, it's very nice. I, I actually don't mind. It's look very nice. Please, lah, buy one, lah, con. Okay, I need to watch more cars first. Do you? Aiyah, oh, yeah. Bobby. Aiyah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The S Max can sell how much? S Max, fifty thousand, right? S Max, yeah. uh, Basically, S Max. If I want to, if if uh, what you call a hypothetical thing, yeah. S Max, right, is really for me to name the price. Okay. Because okay, Bobby, you can't find another one like mine on Muda. Money come first or motivation come first? <laughs> I'll give me the question yeah. now. Yeah. No, Tana. Money no, I'm motivating first. myself to find the money, no? No, 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 no. Tana. Motivation no. come first. But, but yes, no, so no, motivation no. comes first. Something more then money than motivation. Then purchase. You buy, you buy today a six series. You got huh? the motivation to, to make sure you pay for the motivate for the for the, for the car. You work for it. Ah, macam tu lah, God. No, uh, no. Actually, you got it all wrong. First, okay, the was... vision come first. He must see himself. I like he vision for many years, bro. <laughs> he must see what himself in that world. When he see himself as a six series driver, then it means that there's only one way he has to get there already, all right? Which is so we just take him, we put him in one car, and then uh. let him drive. Okay, um, we, I call the guy. Okay, prestige motor car. Okay, Monkiara, oh. come bro, let's go take a look. Come. Bro, every month he drive Bobby's six days what? Watch the car, what? Wow. Oh, it's not a grand coupe, bro. Grand coupe. Wow, this guy has some serious collections, man. What? Okay, let's move on. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's, let's answer other people. Cannot motivation for M5, this week 640, uh, grand coupe. <laughs> <laughs> no lah. Okay, la, bro, con. How much money would you lose? I mean, the, it's not going to go anywhere, right? It get won't, it won't, no. Yeah, you sell the, the MPV, you get rid of mm. one of the, the uh, E39s, then you, yeah. you get a 640 uh, Grand Coupe, bro. 
100k load for demo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then and then your your one staff leave, you know, this the <laughs> installment and more. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh so answer already done. Okay. Okay. Con this one is a very voila. Con con cannot get the 640i. It's like. really white bro. Uh 150k loan. Uh uh second car okay second car means it's not that comfortable it's really comfortable uh <laughs> mine is the mark 3 mcgann rs you can get loan for one hundred twenty thousand for the mark 3 mcgann rs mx5 yeah, i send you a picture on whatsapp to young i send you a picture on whatsapp <laughs> wait let me add another thing first what uh, okay what were your scheme to 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 get con motivated uh I'm going yeah, to yeah, yeah. Yeah, send another one. Send another one. Okay, yeah, wait. Ah, this one, the new one, the new one. <laughs> How's that? Hmm? Sorry, sorry. I see okay, Chiang's face. Know, what's happening? What's happening? Am I uh see? Hi Chiang? Hi Chiang. <laughs> I wanna see his laughing face. Where's the picture I show? Hey, enlarge, huh? enlarge. <laughs> <coughs> he will still do this. He buy the Grand Coupe. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Get the M5, bro. Get the M5. <laughs> get the M5. Bro. It's not much different anyways in the price, but get the M5. Okay. Yeah, 15k difference. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry for disturbing you. No, that's that's good, that's good. Okay, I, I give him a big uh mark stream again. Uh please leave version, you can still get loan. Okay, but three dollars. Reliable sporty car for 150k loan. GT I two dog. That's one. That's one. Um it's not sporty la. Mm. I was just uh well I was just having a chat with a friend today and yeah. F thirty three thirty I is this price range uh, at one hundred fifty k. Really? But second car, bro. Cheapest example in the market F thirty three thirty I is one hundred fifty k. Wow, but it's a second yes. car, bro. Has to be more more ambitious. Well, he say reliable, ma. He added reliability. The Megan is not that unreliable to. Uh, no, I'm giving him yeah. Megan is one. You can consider, Ooh. you know, uh, yeah. this is good too. You can't beat yes, Japanese yes, for yes. reliability. Yes. Uh, yes. I just yes, saw yes. uh I just saw a 428i Grand Coupe for 130 plus K. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That is damn cheap, bro. I faster send to Rachel first. <laughs> Rachel, hey, hey. Uh, oh, do it I so. way. Proper way. Yeah, man. But Rachel driving the car, right? She will look yeah, damn small in the road. She looks so yeah. small in the car. <laughs> yeah, we all ask her to Actually, buy Rachel would look great in a mini. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sure, I, feel. I agree. Agree, agree, agree. Rachel is yeah. super, will be super numb in a mini. Mm. A mini resale value damn strong, you know. Yeah, bro. yeah. Oh, Bobby, really? Yeah? Yes. Seventy k loan, ah. Uh? What's that? What's oh, that? Mileage. Seventy k loan, ah. Uh? Is it? I I don't understand. Seventy one k is mileage. Oh, mileage. mileage oh, thank God. Seventy one k mileage, low spec, full loan. Oh, full loan. Why, mm. why would someone put low spec? It cannot be right. Yeah. I don't understand. Anyways, luxury spec, uh, oh no, um, what is L? Uh? I have yeah. no idea. Luxury spec. Oh yeah, look at the seat. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That time BMW has yeah. that luxury line, sports line, the urban theory. line. Yeah, but luxury theory. is their lowest line, isn't it? Urban. No, it's no, la, It's their. Urban, is it? No. Mm. So there is a the line no. below luxury one. Urban, uh, It's called urban. Yeah. Hey. Oh, but yellow, this one is luxury spec, eh? Because you see yeah. the, the beige interior. Yeah, that means this is uncle spec, con spec. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, it is nice. Okay, come. 
sorry sorry s 90 b5 b5 is the new designation no, for their yeah. non-hybrid yeah mild hybrid it's reliable yes 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 it's the the t5 is called b5 now yeah correct uh, correct because now they have the mild hybrid system in the petrol yeah. model so that's why it's called b okay so so bobby what's your comment on those uh reliable very reliable just just by mm. volvo yeah. engines right volvo petrol engines right because they are small company right they engineer their petrol engine block to be so strong that their diesel block use the same block all right yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous yes it's so they strong have engineered they one common one. block of petrol and diesel engine at a time yeah and diesel have a higher compression ratio yeah way higher insane okay it's reliable it's uh hmm. yeah you can buy the management unit yeah go hmm. for it management unit is always better than media unit okay <laughs> uh the new Passat sweat clutch, uh, the new Volkswagens actually they've improved so much. Uh, yeah. So it shouldn't be a problem at all. Uh, it's it's still a dual clutch. Fun. The Passat yeah. is more stable and more one ton, but uh, I don't know. Like, 32i doesn't have the power lah, but I don't know uh, how both cars handle. But the Passat is only one point eight, right, bro. Yeah, yeah. Actually, the 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 three two I is more. You know, not two point oh, two point oh already. Oh, two point oh now. Okay. Not two point oh. Oh, new new Passat elegance. Uh, Passat elegance also two point oh. Is more it handles better, but the Passat is way more spacious and way more comfortable. Uh, yeah. Mm, yes. More. Yes. But the G twenty also very spacious. Ah, uh. G twenty. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Yeah. Correct. I I uh, I, yeah. I will go and go G twenty. Yeah. Go G twenty. Yeah. For me, because from you hands down. down right? For me, hands down, without thinking about it, is the BM la. The G the, 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 the three series still a BMW. The, no, no. The three series is practically a five series. It's so spacious. Correct. Build quality, mm. interior, the three series is way better, way more modern. Mm. Um, yeah, graphic display. I mean, I mean, can't compare like It's a different class altogether, like you know. Uh, mm. second hand, it should be the analog dials, the very ugly analog. Yeah, dials. it was still oh, the, the, the one, the back, the back one la, The back. All right. Oh, right. The, the one look like the F thirty one la. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's yeah. like the one that look like analog, 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 digital analog. or digital analog, something like that, like, you know. So yeah, analog, analog, yeah. I mean, analog, 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 analog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So BMW, or BMW la. It, actually, the space is around the same. I take that back. The space is around the same. Yeah. Yeah, just the Arteon is more spacious. Mm. 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 Okay. Question? And uh, no, no, no matter to me, no matter how good a dual clutch, it will never beat the reliability of the eight speed ZF. Oh yes, which is yes, which is bulletproof. Yeah. Uh, I mean hey, that transmission uh, is is what 12 years old? uh yeah, yeah. It's, it, it, i mean there are many iterations yeah but yeah. uh it's the same platform yeah. right now it's it's it. they, they using it yeah yeah it, it, it's uh, funny because a... yeah, yeah. yes gearbox is up to 80 horse, uh, horsepower or talk sorry so from oh. day one they had talk reliability so that's the yeah sorry uh yeah the 208 is handsome but but uh it does catch out you so mm. if you are a fresh grad you want a car that can just yeah it's so good looking uh, the duo eight. yeah mm, it is very good looking okay if you if you are a fresh grad now uh, this is my biggest regret now uh, i was fresh grad uh, i didn't went for a more knocky car because i take motorola to work right so i got this honda city which i drive three times a month uh and then i take monorail to work every day <laughs> actually yeah, Thomas, you're right, right. Uh, you're right come to think of it right i mean i was a fresh grad and i i absolutely got myself a nuclear bomb to start <laughs> as a car ownership <laughs> overhaul my 
my gearbox three times, you know, change my turbo, you know. So uh, if you get if you get something that smoothed out your life, right, your life won't be as memorable. So get the two hundred eight. You will learn a lot about about car yeah. fixing. You learn you learn a lot of, a lot a lot. Of you buy a MyB, you learn the, the, Anna is Anna is, is is rubbing his face. <laughs> Anna, you no longer qualify to give sensible advice. I'm going to say that <laughs> <laughs> you no longer qualify. Bobby, okay, it is different. Bobby, it's different when <laughs> when I get Anna knowingly because it's what I want to do. It's different. Okay. It's different, okay. I'm not looking for liability. I want pain. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I'm a fresh grad, okay, put this way up. If I was a fresh grad, the main priority is to get out of the car in two years, correct? What if you get into a car that you will get in two years <laughs> from the start? <laughs> no lah. People don't even stay at the same job for 18 months nowadays. It's a fresh grad, you know. The, anyway, and the, and the uh, is, so you see, I the key word hmm. here is it looks handsome. That means he fell in love with the car. All right. Hmm. So whatever problems that he may encounter with the car is out of yep. love. And you know what, Alex? If you need to go to work, there's something called Malaysian transportation system. Wow. Oh my god, that's that's my interior. That's the interior of my car. Oh my god! It With that steering, like, oh I know lah. Not this steering lah. My steering is the sport steering. Oh, uh, and then I swap to manual. Sorry, Tana. I I I totally understand what you what you say. Uh. I yeah. I mean, yeah. I agree. <laughs> Seriously, I agree. Because the worst thing you can do is you get into a car. Let's say 208. If you get cash 208, a cheap one, fantastic. Mm. Use the cash you pay for, you can burn, you don't mind. But you're gonna get 208, a newer 208, highly used, and you got a high loan and you can't get out of the car. That's the worst bit. Like you are working and you're like stuck, can't get out of the car, you know. So don't get stuck into a car. Uh fresh grad, if possible, buy a cash car, like you know, and, and just live with it for now. You know, Tana, Tana, when, when I was when I was 23 years old, right? Yeah, I have doctors professors and datos as my friends yeah. because they are mm. from audi club <laughs> <laughs> and then they pity me then they they take out their vacuum and help me diagnose my car and all that yeah. because my car always got problem then i become good friends with them when i was 23 years old ah that's my steering that's my steering that's the sports version wow. oh. sports version oh. 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 So nice, ah. Uh. <laughs> anyway, this guy said thanks for the suggestion. I would suggest to him, he'll probably be surprised. I think you're very surprised that we said thing because I think it's you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, sorry. Hmm. So, who needs car buying advice? Con, you want? Oh, oh I like it. Okay. You need any advice? Come. <laughs> ask us. Go, come, ask. Okay. How about Zona? CTT look, okay? The question. Okay. Um, Bobby, Charles seat, should we in the middle or on the side? Uh, where is the best best spot do you think for Charles seat? Con? Middle is actually the best. Why? Yeah. The best. Because you're protected from side impact both directions. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Driver uh, side you know, is the most Hmm? Jack Barrett, uh, he was once in his Lincoln Town car. Uh, for those who don't know Jack Barrett, he's the media director of Hagerty. So he was in his Lincoln Town car and he was T-boned by a Hyundai Sonata. Hmm. He fractured his uh, femur, he fractured his pelvis, he fractured his ribcage and because he placed his son on the child seat in the middle, his son came off unscathed. Anyway, even though I say this, there are very few child seats now with isofix straps instead of uh, most child seat now has the fixed isofix points. Yeah. So when yeah. it's fixed, right, 
you have no other choice because most car makers put their isofix on left mm-hmm. or right, provided yep. you own a European MPV that has three like individual a Ford S Max. Yeah, like Cons Ford S Max or the first generation Peugeot 5008, then Charan these cars, or a uh, Renault Megane Scenic, yeah. then mm-hmm. these kind of European MPVs, right, they have three individual seats in the middle row, in the second row, and all three seats have isofix. Then you put your, your child in the middle. Putting your child seat in the middle, right, has the extra benefit of giving your child more view. You know, they are less cranky, because I know, I know, I know a lot of advice say, oh, put your child on the reverse because that's for worst case scenario. When you are in a head on collision, the back can take more load than the front. So, but if your child is looking at the seat and the ceiling half a day, right, your child's going to get cranky. There's no eye contact with your child. So in the middle, you get eye contact. You can even talk to your child from the rear view mirror, you know. Uh, there's a lot of benefits, but unfortunately, most cars don't have isofix in the middle. I put my child seat in the middle because my early generation Recaro child seat has straps and the straps is flexible. So I hook on one either side. So that allows mm. me to put it in the middle. So as long as you use an isofix seat, uh, my advice would be don't put your child seat behind the driver because you have absolutely zero eye contact with your child. And that's when people start forgetting their child, their children is in the car. You put mm-hmm. behind the passenger seat, then you, you can interact with your child. You just turn, you turn around, you can interact with your child. I mean, that being said, provided you are someone who won't forget things like con, you know, con is like... I wouldn't robot. say that actually. Yeah, yeah. so I mean, the, the sad thing to me is that every parent who forgot their child uh, and their child died in the car, right, are caring parents who put their child on the child seat. Only children on car seats will end up being left in the car and die under the heat. You know, Bob, Bobby and I once had this conversation. Yeah. Yeah. We said yeah. that. Yeah. We, once, yeah. we once acknowledged that the reason... We, we never kena this kind of case where the kids were left in the car. We are lucky. It's only because we were lucky. Yeah. We are lucky. That's it. Every time when we brought our kids somewhere, we remember. Yeah. And we are quite lucky in the sense that we work jobs that are not fixed hours. You know, We are not stuck yes. into a routine. Yes. One morning, 9 o'clock, drive the kid to kindy, go to work, finish work, come back, pick up from daycare and go. We are not... Because people need to understand this. Forgetting something is not intentional. And the fact that those parents who forgot about their child and their child died in the car are actually responsible parents who put their child on child seats. All right. Those parents who never put their child in on a child seat will never forget their children because their children are moving around. All right. So it's a All sad right. thing. It's a very, yeah. very sad thing. And... And now, now some of the, some of the cars that we are, that we review, right? When you, when you switch off the engine, the infotainment or the instrument cluster will flash a reminder to check yeah. the child. Yeah, I mean it's it's a yeah. it's a standard reminder. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So so to 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 be a little bit more troublesome, put your child seat behind the passenger side so you have eye contact and you can interact with your child. Mm. And you can see them on the rearview mirror. You put directly behind you, even though it's convenient in the morning, you lost eye contact, then you may forget your child. So just 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 be mindful about that. It's the worst thing that can happen to a parent. Uh, I mean, as a yeah. parent. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You feel like killing yourself, you know. Yeah. Anyway, sorry for the grim topic. Yeah. Let's go another one uh, about engine oil. So the question is, is it bad to change your engine oil brand frequently? So this is like, no, no problem. Oil, oil, you know? No problem. No problem. No problem. As no long problem. as it's a, it's a, it's a reputable brand, you are fine. Yeah, don't go to those places with a with a Tapaulin banner, RM90 oil change, full, full ah. oil change. <laughs> those oil don't know from where, from restaurants. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know though, if you want to change from semi-sane to static and then go vice versa, 
I noticed on those cars, there's a film, like a black film will, will form, you know. So, I oh. think it's, yeah, so I don't know why is that like a really, really visible black film on the, uh, on the, on the hair, hair gasket. So, yeah, oh. keep to the same viscosity and uh, you're fine, I guess. The, the, um, the thing with brand, right, brand doesn't say much about the oil. Basically, mm. right, uh, every car maker, established car maker, right, they have, a, they have certain parameters that they put out and the oil companies have to pay pay these car makers to to basically take the standards and comply to the standards and get it certified by the car car makers themselves so there are there are codes one like like a really long code you know whereby uh, this oil complies to vag groups this code or yeah. bmw groups this code as long as it's there, it's totally okay. All right. Yeah. Especially when you go like to ATF fluids and stuff, they'll, they'll affect the uh, seals. You know, very important. Mm, uh, yeah. Question from Faris here: A uh, use one one eight or a uh, Honda City HB? What do you think? Facelift one one eight. No, it's a facelift. So it's the it's the you know it's a pre facelift. Yeah, it's the one point five three cylinder. Yeah, BMW. If it's a pre facelift, it's a it's a it's the Prince engine. If it's a post facelift, then it's the three cylinder. Yeah. Mm. But either so way, exclusive ready la. But either way, pre facelift or post facelift, they're not making another one like those. But as at the moment, they're still rolling out new city hatchbacks every day. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but but again, it's a it's a new car versus an old car. One is standard. Two thousand fifty. One is only right? referring to the to the one point yeah. uh, three cylinder one point five. Right? Yeah. Mm. One is sporty, no space, no boot space, no rear seat space, <laughs> but it's fun to drive. You know, another is, I mean, you can't fault the drive of a Honda City, right? It's it's yeah. so practical. Yeah. So few efficient, no maintenance, blah 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 like that. Lah. But if you ask us, all of us will pick the one series. Mm -hmm. Rear wheel drive with a handbrake lever, you know, have fun. Uh one qualifies for enduro, <laughs> one doesn't. Very simple. <laughs> all right. Okay. Um question about the uh N20 engine or reliability. Um both countries. I assume the guy is from Singapore. Uh. <laughs> um, I would say I would say get one that is that has a good service history. If you get one that's poorly maintained, of course the N20 and the Yeah. If you're lucky, get something with a timing chain has been, uh, has been replaced. Uh, the timing chain guide la. As long as yeah. the as the the timing chain guide one is sorted, right? It's mm. it's okay one. And and when they do the guide, very rarely pull on the guide alone. Like the, the guide is about few hundred bucks, yeah. the chain is about eight hundred bucks. The only, thing, the only thing about the N twenty engine, a bit potong steam as they age, right? They sound like diesels now. No, I find that <laughs> yeah. 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 they sound like diesel. Uh. But N twenty engine the corner, once you tune yeah. them uh, and you put some eggs on it, it sounds sporty. Uh. So as mm. stock standard, it's like big thing but once you tune it you open up the uh down pipe then i think it sounds yeah. a bit yeah down pipe must yeah. be the move you know but so. but even even that la worst 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 case scenario engine kong there are plenty of used engines in the market yeah mm. how much is that i saw i saw the yeah, thing, simple, i think guys it's a simple four cylinder turbo right i mean how yeah. how how do you end up with an engine kong in, in, in this kind of yeah, car yeah. Oh. It, it does for me the, the timing chain when it slips uh, the timing chain guide apparently the plastic guide slips mm. so the mm. thing is anyone who owns an a20 please today go out listen to your engine if it rattles a lot that's the timing chain rattling uh, so you got to get it fixed and get it adjusted like now but if you don't do that then yes it can slip and engine can just mm. um crash low the, the the timing chain guide is a critical maintenance item but yeah i mean if you if you have bought the car from somebody who knows all these issues right yeah the car is actually mm. quite safe mm. Mm. so is there an aftermarket part that replaces the plastic guides 
I no, think I mean, GM will do it. You know, right? it's, it's, right, right. it's meant to be a plastic guide because it, it, it will sit Bobby. So it doesn't rub on the timing chain and, and lose friction. It's just more of a maintenance item. Every so clean. Yes, it has to be it. regularly replaced. Yeah. You uh, can't let the timing chain sit on a metal metal and it will brace. You know, so yes, uh, it's, it's all, even, even Audi, for example, it's plastic, you know. It's just there's, no, it's, there's no aftermarket tuner that launch a replacement part to address this problem, man. No, it, it's just that I think from what I see, Bobby, yeah, it's like luck, you know. Yeah. Some of the chains get a bit, a bit too long and then they okay. slip a gear and then got issue, like, no? And then the mm. timing chain guard is there. There's a spring there. It loses the, the, the tension, like, no? So mm. it's just more of luck, like, you know? When you hear the yeah. sound, it's a bit rattly. Go and have it mm. checked out and do a timing chain replacement, like, no? Even the e triple same thing, you know? Uh, I got yeah. cases about it. I've seen the, the engine sound doesn't like, or go and change it. And then you see, yeah, fair enough, timing chain, like, go and replace mm -hmm. it, like, no? Yeah. Well, that's, that's the only thing I can think of. Everything else is just normal maintenance, like, no? Yeah. Um, if your friend has maintained the car, you know what? No issue, like, no? No yeah. issue. Mm. Okay. Okay, what else you got? A8, sorry, A3, 1.8, I love this car. Yeah, good. Fantastic car. It's a, it's a, it's a, yeah good you got quattro in a small package yeah i call, I call it a a, a golf mini golf r, r. mini golf r la, you know yeah. <laughs> golf r 1.8 yeah. mini golf r so then yeah. yeah how's this one maybe iris uh what is the difference in handling um because hazardous samsuri talked about the facelift review and the only difference is the steering feel and cc position so the new iris uh, this iris v catastrophe the maybe uh i guess the same IV right hasn't changed much eh? mm, no mm. i mean i've not I, given the latest latest my v but i, uh, I find the, the the current gen my v it's very sporty like i mean you go over humps it's like oh, very quite a sharp quite jeffrey mm. uh the iris is like it flow through uh, roads very smooth like the way it carves is very nice but, oh yes, yes. But practicality, my way is just way more practical and bigger space. Yeah. Better seat behind. No, and I the I, I think the iris have better seats, more supportive seats. The front is it? Front and back. Iris seats have proper thigh support. That's mm. why that's one reason why the oh, iris yeah. is a bit tight inside. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what uh, I didn't know about this in a while. My my, my yeah. wife's uh, cousin brother is large large. He'll get to my V, he complain. I said, why? Uh, see, it's too small. I said, why? Because for my size, the thigh support is dumb gum. For him, uh, the thigh support, like half the thigh is, is uh, hanging out of the chair. So apparently, <laughs> it's, it's a thing. People who are large, they find it's a bit too small for them. Oh. Uh, yeah. So yeah it's the the Iris and Persona actually have very, very good seats. Hmm. True. I, I prefer Proton. Uh, I prefer Proton anytime. Uh. Okay. Um, how about this one? Um, buying guide from buying uh, when purchasing new car from other state through delivery. Why would you buy a new car from another state? Stop. Because Kedah is getting less, much more. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, Maybe you found a dealer from another state with. Uh, you can always because to then you set it down, you know. Chuyang, Chuyang does that. He sends his car around yeah. uh, Malaysia. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Irfan sells his Mini to some guy in Kedah and Perak. You know, you mm -hmm. you tow the car. You get a tow, towing guy that tow the car. So remember, just, remember the case but, we had before. The guy bought an X70 in KL. Sent the car to Johor Bahru along X15. the way. Actually, actually, correct. Uh, so I I think in this case, if you buy from let's say Proton itself, and you sign the document where you are. It's safe la, because you haven't taken, taken over the car ownership, la, but it's still a gray area if something happens to the car on the way to come hmm. to you. Uh, a properly responsible, uh, I mean, uh, uh, the correct procedure from the dealer part is to send the car by a flatbed. Yes. Hmm. Uh, but even then, on a flatbed, no guarantee, nothing will go wrong along correct, the way. Correct, but correct. You know, it's a safe, relatively safer way. Hmm. 
Well, the safest way, Brian, is that you 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 go there with your friends Correct. and you pick yep. up the car yourself. Correct. Hello, drive down low. Yeah. I mean, that, that's what that I would do. Good road that's what I would do, right? right? I, I'm sure that's what everyone would do, right? You know, over and here. You can, and you can stop by Chu Yang's place for coffee along the way. Road trip. Yeah. yeah. Like, we got Victor Ng here. He bought an Alpha Friday night after watching Bobby's video. Congrats. Uh, <laughs> Congrats. Oh, nice. Victor bought at 159 after watching your video. Congrats. <laughs> El for Romeo. Join the, join the, join the Ratun, man. Okay, how about this one? Have you answered the question before? Looking for hey, you all just saw, you know him, just saw the guy, uh, the Alpha meetup. When is it? Next, uh, the week after right? next, week after next. Uh, Arok, Alpha Romeo Owners Club, Arok. Third car SUV 2017 Tiguan 2017 CX5 X70 1.5. I, I will go for Tiguan, even though it's a 2000, uh, 1. 1.4. I like the Tiguan a lot. Yeah. Hmm. I like the T1 a lot. So you know, it's not the fastest, but I went as a as a mini SUV go zipping around yeah. town is actually great. Hmm. You got enough. Actually, for the for some reason, right, the T1 even the one point four, right, uh, pulls out on the highway pretty. I mean, the the power feels better than a two point what ah uh, two zero zero eight, which has. 170 horses, 1.6. Oh, yeah. I think it has to do with the PSG. Right. That's, that's down to Volkswagen's tuning expertise with turbo engines. The yeah, low-end power, power is better on a Tiguan. Mm. The yeah. low-end power yeah, Even though it's 140 horses, it felt yeah. like the Tiguan has more power than the 2008. Right? Yeah, yeah. True? Yeah. But I'll buy the yeah. CX-5. Hmm. <laughs> So uncle of me. I like the German German feel in the, the Tiguan, German car. It you like very the German, you like the Germans. Yeah. Very basic. So German. CX5 is quite basic and simple, so I like it. I like, 2017 I like it. CX5 is the old one, right? Uh is the current one? No? Current gen. No? Current one? Look, right? This one, oh. yes. Yeah. Wow, oh. five years ago. Yeah. Launch on the right? Launch Yo, this car five years already. Yeah, uh. this car still looks so fresh, right? Yeah. This car is still so handsome. Unless Daddy you're talking Daddy. about the 2017 CX5 Turbo. It is 2017. Don't have the Turbo yet. Ah. Uh, BRB, BRB, BRB. Uh, Sorry, BRB. Okay. How about this one here? Is the Vento 1.2 TSI a good sedan compared to other B segments? Is the DSG a deal breaker? Uh, really same as rumors, problems with manufacturing of the Volkswagen Group. What, what price is he talking about? What which year's Vento? Do they still sell the Vento? They stopped selling, right? No, no. Mm -hmm. I, he's definitely mm -hmm. talking about a used car. Yeah, he needs to. You need to tell us which year of used car so we know the price mm -hmm. point. Then only we can help you to see what is available out there. Like that, we cannot help you, you know. But generally, yeah. they are not as problematic as what they were last time. But mm. these are still not bulletproof cars. Okay. So I mean, if you if you really like it, get as new a unit as you can as you can afford. Yeah, they are nice, mm. but and they are way more reliable than what what they were last time, like two thousand eight, two thousand nine Volkswagen, yeah. right? But still, these mm. are not these are not Toyotas. They are not yeah. Toyotas. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So this is a question about uh workshop after warranty so maybe bobby and talk about your evo club warranty yeah uh yeah we we offer extended warranty let's say your bnw warranty ended five year warranty right you can actually search evo club extended warranty and then uh, you just read through it we offer year by year renewal of your car's warranty but of course your car needs to be subjected to inspection and uh, we have like 52 or 53 inspection centers across the nation. And once you inspect your car, let's say inspection costs 180 or 200 ringgit. But if you buy the extended warranty, your inspection will be free. And then your extended warranty, you need to do your scheduled service to keep your warranty. And we have 82 service centers across the nation to service your car. 
Okay, so just Google it and uh, read it out. All right. And and what I like about this uh, warranty and how the PPI works is that if you go to a PPI in a normal workshop, their incentive is different than the incentive here. You think, think think about this: you go to a normal shop for PPI, and they say, "Oh, car's good." Even the car's not so good, you know, because if the car got problem, they come back to them got repair. So for them, there's an incentive there. But here, yeah. they are incentivized to make sure the car is as good as possible because this mm. is a warranty issue. So there is yeah. a different incentive. Lah. So it's, I think that's a very positive way to take this. And, uh, yeah, I know, never thought about that. Huh? Yeah, I think. Oh, yeah. Number point, huh, Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> hey, this guy has been asking again and again, uh, Vishnu. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, please buy this car. It's very rare. Yep. Uh, three liter yep. turbo, and a uh, Mercedes three liter turbo engine is really good. Uh, yeah. Buy, buy. Uh, they are reliable. They are reliable. W two one twos are reliable. One of my customers just sold one, sold sold his car. I think about a month or two ago. Yeah, I I, I mean, have a soft spot. One or two with, uh, the W212, I really have a soft spot to, to this yeah, generation yeah, in class. Yeah. But the pre facelift so, doesn't have proper engines. The pre facelift come with yeah. crap engines, 1.8 1. 1. 8 or, or, yeah. or the 3.5 direct injection engine. Uh, yo, they, they, they got yeah. their engine strategy wrong at that time. The only yeah, choice is yeah. 1.8 or 3.5. My God. Yeah. And the 3.0 with three liter na with 230 horsepower oh but that engine is reliable even though it has yeah. like, it, it it doesn't feel like it has 230 horsepower okay okay yeah. question about the uh, subaru actually for gravel road or get a pickup truck um my take is that if for gravel road that means the gravel will pick up and hit the undercarriage of the car the subarus are meant for uh, they, they are a bit lower to the ground compared to like a Pajero or whatever. So if you're mm. confirmed going to travel was every day, get a Pajero or LC or something yeah. that's elevation, you know. But but that mm. being said, right, an XV takes better better uh, takes gravel roads better than a lot of you know all these crossovers in the in the market at True, this price range. But yeah, but we're not looking but to go substitute speed. the toughness. I mean, it. if you were in in we had, we had deserts in, in in Malaysia, I think XV is fantastic, snow whatever. Mm. But uh, mm. lifting up XV, it's hard. It's yeah. easier to lift up a Pajero or a Tikka yeah, truck. True, true, true. I think I think for gravel road, right? My my biggest the, the the first thing you need to be concerned with is not is not exactly your right height. It's the type of tires because road tires mm. easily get punctured on gravel roads. So mm. so just get those uh, mm. uh all terrain MTG, tires. MTG. All terrain uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and to do that you need terrain slur. So no way around it. Or or smaller wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I did for me. I went from 18 inch. I went to 16 inch for my Everest because yeah. uh, oh. it's more common to get 16 inch tires off. I mean, anywhere you go to, mm. almost 18 inch. So yeah, I downgraded. <laughs> mm. Okay, question. This is maybe a question that's more philosophical. Uh, 2.0 or 3.0 uh, Supra? What would be your pick? 3.0. Uh, three liter. Three liter. Three liter. Three liter. Make it monumental, like guys. You know. Um, Okay, we have Jackson saying Con wants M5. Con hashtag Conform <laughs> 5. We got to move this hashtag here. Hashtag com, Conform 5. <laughs> <laughs> me hashtag. Yeah, me. I go get a beer. I go get a beer. Can, can, can. Okay, so, um, okay, what else we got over here? Um, Got questions about let's do something more down to earth. Uh, Vito 1.2 or Cooper S. Wow, I uh, lost the Cooper S for me. S, la, if if it's a minor issue for you, long. yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. Um, mm. how about this one? Con the C300 or C? Or where's that question? I, I'm which one? Ah, uh, I've lost it. Uh, I was looking at this and it disappeared. Oh, here we are C300 versus the T3OI. Interesting prospect. Uh, con, yeah, interesting, huh? Okay, I mean, assuming it's talking about brand new, right? My yeah. only gripe with the 330i is the ride quality. No, but they've fixed that, remember? 
the current gen, I think they fixed, isn't it? They made uh, an improvement over the uh, shocks or whatever. Isn't that right? If they have, then, I mean, uh, but, but the thing is that I have not experienced the C300 to be able to, to, to comment conclusively on this. So, assume, yeah, assuming he's talking about the current gen cars. Lah, huh? yeah. What's that? What's that? What's that? One is pretty C300 versus BMW 330i. Oh. Assuming current gen. Lah. Mm. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Pretty series, law. Hmm. Pretty, yeah. I mean, three series for me, yeah. 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 Although the C three hundred is pretty, yeah, uh, and the three series for me, lah. Uh, any day, lah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Brandon asked, "Would you consider getting a Tesla?" Uh no, no. Really? Not for me. If Tesla I was mean, in Malaysia, go, likely I would go electric, they sold. But if, no, if a Tesla was in Malaysia, they sold, they gave leasing, I'll consider. But to buy a Tesla without the support, uh, for me, it's a bit iffy uh, for the price. Have you guys been I, in the Tesla interior? Oh, very basic. <laughs> like, the, the build quality is a little bit wrong. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Yeah. No, I mean, if I were to EV, I would. My pick would be a, a Porsche or a BMW. Oh, I want more China EVs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, let's see what else we got. Okay. How about this one? MK7R or MK8 GTI? I think it's a big issue now. People are con considering R. what to get. Mm. R. 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 For me, R. MK7, R. 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 Go wrong. Um, um, Ora Pussy. Yeah. Um, oh, it's for you, uh, the question about it. Okay, like okay, bro. If you have a 1.1k monthly budget to maintain your E39, I want to be your mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 1100 ringgit a month is a lot, a lot, even for two E39s. Let not. Uh, mm -hmm let alone one so you won't need to spend that kind of money unless you are pumping like ron 97 ah. no la, no la. this is this is maintenance not uh no, even maintenance not, also you you won't hit 1.1k monthly yeah. i mean i would say 500 set aside i would say three four three four hundred ringgit for products okay and, the, and let's put it this way the first bill after yeah. you pick it up from when you buy the car that one will be painful but once you get the key maintenance items shorter right mm. shorter right so are you saying con right now you already mm. amortized the first cost you spent on the e39 and oh, now easily. you're okay to, so now you're okay to sell if you sell now you won't lose money la. you can now won't. buy m5 now right? now if i actually the bulk of my expenses on the car are less maintenance than cosmetic so i think you're, you're <laughs> No, guys, I think, right, cars, right, once they are past the loan eligibility, right, the mm. people who now buys E39 or currently owns E39 are people who can afford to take out 40k, 35k to buy the car outright. These yeah. kind of people will be able to maintain the car better than youngsters who can barely afford a 80k loan to buy an eight, a 3 series that can they can just about uh qualify for loan and then they skip yeah. on maintenance. Mm -hmm. You know, adults who can yeah. take out 35 40 000 to buy a car outright will take care of the car better than youngsters who barely can get an 80k 90k loan. Correct. Yeah. That's the difference. So mm -hmm. these yeah. kind of cars now, right, are owned by people who can afford maintenance. Mm -hmm. So I think I think yeah. these cars would be well taken care of when, 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 when people, people say wow well, the parts are expensive uh, for the old bms and it's uh this much and i go like how much 300 for this uh, I, I laugh because like talking about newer audis one small part will be three thousand ringgit you know like so <laughs> i just laugh yeah. um and for yeah. i think like you know thousand here thousand there is totally fine so yes you're right mm. Bobby, if you are six years old you want to buy your first porsche sports car go 200k 
what did you get? I he find that he must be. Be. So mm. cannot get loan ready. He's buying uh, cash. He buying Are there any nine elevens that go for which nine eleven can get for two less than two hundred? Nine nine six you can get. Um, no, uh, two hundred fifty. I see. I would suggest like, Eric to get a Boxster nine eight seven now. Uh. Yeah. cash buy uh below 200k enjoy the car i mean 60 year old you're not aftering speed a lot of even though boxer can do speed well mm. uh the thing is that you buy a 911 you drive slow you're just driving like a normal car you you, yeah. you want to enjoy the speed right so below 200k mm. you can only get like 996 or some really old 997 mm. get a boxer mm. Yeah, boxers even they are old they go very smooth very fast even my yeah. 25 year old boxer does 200 mm. kmh like i think no issue whatsoever straight arrow right. so, yeah. cut with the top down you know so yeah, yeah. get a 97 uh, 97 uh boxer should be, should be yeah. fine now uh, 100 100 160 their prices went back up right mm. last time last time was like 120 130 now cannot get a uh, one thirty. Okay, have you answered this? Uh, Kylie Ng asked. Uh, Kyle Ng asked. Comfortable car to bring parents out to and meet clients. Lexus ES versus a Crown. Yes, uh, ES leg room Crown cannot fire. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Gary is selling is one five six. So anybody has to get by five six. Oh, he's selling yeah. one. No, this afternoon, this, this afternoon, he just told me he's not selling it. I think, I think <laughs> the wife. <Wi -Fi. laughs> I spoke well, to him yesterday. He said selling all the cars, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah but this afternoon, this that, afternoon, he just yeah. told me he's not selling the Alpha. Okay. No, he's, he's actually passing the car to me and see if he can get a, the best seller, you know, best offer. La. So, I'm going to take the car and do, do a video and, you know, ah. show, show, show the, what it's like. I mean, but this car, if anybody has the budget, this is one one five six that is damn worth to buy because mechanically it's sorted, repainted, interior reupholstered, mm. you know, and some more you go and siap do coating and all already one. So it's like really just hey, buy and rims, drive. rims. Huh? Don't forget the rims. Yes, wheels, the wheels. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, they asked a question about our weekend drive, so, uh. Yeah. Please come and sign up at Evo Club um, and you will see the alerts. Normally, we have runs on Saturday morning. Um, last week was yeah. on Sunday. Uh, yeah, come and join us at Evo, at club.evomotion.com. It's free. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, Anna, Anna, I just saw a 3.4. Is it 3.4? 987 got 3.4. Yeah, got the Esla. Ooh. 3.4 mm. yeah. 183k 183k 3.4 is it a PDK? Ooh, it, it's a sports chrono i'm sure it's a pdk la, because what year 2009 the, late, the, the point two is a pdk um should be like should be should be point, point two is that a point two that's a point two the interior goes down isn't it all the way around I think it's a point two. Yeah, we PDK la. Wow, that red interior suyo. Yeah, it's a point two. Hmm, point two. Hey, hundred eighty k okay. Eh. Mm. Three point four or more powerful. Yeah. Mm. Nice, no? Hmm. And then cash buy la. Uh, the second one is sold. Or this is a uh, okay. If you want to get the. Well, the, the 911 try to get, get a turbo mm. don't get the um but turbo get, can't get his budget of 200k right it's more it's more, it's more more but actually uh, this is a good one because the uh the this Which is one? the uh the facelift it's more reliable than the earlier version la. this 992 the this 188 one uh? yeah it's i mean it's it's a better of the two but still um ims bedding and all that right? this one 996 or those are 997 or Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll get 997. I'll get 997. 997 for 1.75. Are you serious? Uh? So cheaper. Uh? God. God. 
Hey, uh, Guangzhou just bought a 997 for like 170k. Wow. Yeah. Ini kali lah. Proper. Tana, you want a 911, right? Yes. Get a 997 lah. Come, let's go buy one. <laughs> Then it was more yeah, man. Man. 997 is, is of course is I'll do it, Thomas. You know, right? Thomas, <laughs> before the car arrives, before the car arrives, I already ordered in UK the parts, it'll be on shipment coming here. But the, before the car arrives, the, the, the gearbox will be here already. So, of course, yeah. Nice, man. <laughs> yeah. Wow, this car nice. Oh. Hey, so get I, I, I get go, Tana, go. Hey, 997's build quality is amazing. 997's yeah, build quality is just amazing. However mm. old, uh, you open the door, you touch everything. Uh, it's just so nice. I think a lot of the additional... Mm. Yeah. Mm. If you cross party, I don't know regard the 997 as peak 911, right? In terms no, of... I mean, um or they I all, it, uh, no, 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 it's the no. more it's the more and uh, i guess hydraulic is there like it's about hydraulic steering yeah you know? so yeah let me say the hydraulic steering is is the is the is, is that that era, i think like, Adrian Mark and and both and alex stem also both mentioned to me before or at least i recall them saying that 997 is the best entry point into 911 into 911 world. yeah because the 911.1 has become such a gt that it doesn't have doesn't exude a lot of sports car cap, uh, cap, uh, um, mm. personality anymore yeah you know yeah. so there's that it, it, so it's not so I, much whether it's the book or not but it 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 is more a sports car and then the 991.1 becomes very gt ish really so mm. uh, i don't know why I, I, I just love looking at porsches with the terracotta interior you look at the gray <laughs> one it's like, uh, right the red interior is so nice yeah, ring. Mm. Yeah. This one is so. Fun fact, they, they, fun fact uh... if you ever get into a 997, okay, 997 is way smaller than 991.1, right? Yeah. But fun fact, the, the real space have got is actually uh, almost the same size, although it's larger, right? Ah. So what happened ah. is they started shoving the engine deeper into the mid middle of the car. So it's oh. getting more and more mid engine than 991.1. Yeah. Right, so you don't get more interior. Yeah, yeah, it's somewhat interior, but it's easier to drive because it's less rear engine. Rear engine is, uh, you have to you have to manage the rear engine as you drive, right? Especially when you're driving yeah. hard, right? Yeah. So the nine nine one point one is actually very mid engine, you know. Mm. And with the if you get a four S four wheel drive, it's like, ah, yeah, what rear rear engine? Never mind lah. I just drive it like a normal car only lah. Right, you know? right. uh, my my ideal spec will be a c2s uh 997 manual kilo and then it's going to go to get red color wheels you know manual you know <laughs> <laughs> actually c2s means carrera s right yeah c2s yeah. carrera s two wheel drive is a rear wheel drive you know what's funny with 911 uh, only the right. base model gets to call carrera yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> right, you get a special I name with a base model Carrera. Oh, so nice. Couldn't because they couldn't fit the <laughs> put everything in there. <laughs> okay. Um, Kevin says I want to buy whatever coin. <laughs> hey, this guy is a legend, man, Kevin. Uh. So much money. Mm. Huh? Belila. Okay, what questions have I answered? Sorry, I went off to the toilet for a bit. <laughs> sorry, okay. sorry, have to. Have any to questions over here that we have answered? Okay. Um, Volkswagen CC 214, worth getting? Volkswagen wow. CC! Whoa. Oh my god! 60k only, uh, but this is the 1.8, right? This is the B7 platform. Yeah. The B7 platform. Okay, uh, okay. for a long time. I mean, for that styling. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Uh, moving on. Uh, 215 model, either GLA 45, A45, CLA 45, or Quartel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. 
GLA. GLA. Okay. Um, how about this one here? Um, Evo Seven wow. Manual One Seventy or Civic Type R? Oh, EK Nine. Okay. I mean, one car is genuinely expensive last time. The other is not. Uh, it yeah. only went up to 160k solely because of the hype. You know, 160k, you yeah. can also get an FD2R, you know. Yeah. So, mm. hey, Evo 7, bro. Yeah. This car, you go good thing, right? I don't care you drive a Ferrari or Porsche, you see this car behind you, you siam for the car, okay? Yeah, Evo yeah, 7. Man. If they don't break down, lah. <laughs> <laughs> if they don't the break punis down, ma, the punis they are not reliable. Down, they are not reliable. Okay, so the question is what we call uh, X for the X5 hybrid. Now, the funny thing is, uh, BMW says uh, that if you charge on daily basis the car is more reliable that's what they, that's what they say okay mm. uh the early owner of my three series didn't charge at all never did car was reliable <laughs> then i touch it every single day <laughs> <laughs> so i don't know the answer be able to say one thing i follow your issue so i cannot answer you the question <laughs> i mean uh mr you you fat chiang okay uh the engine is your least to worry on a hybrid. Yes. All right. It's the power mm -hmm. unit. It's yep. the, uh, the, 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 the battery also least of your worry. Uh. It's, the, it's, the, it's the inverters, the power unit, those things. Uh. Mm. Yeah. So, okay. uh, if you want to drive full electric mode for daily drive, right? Now, the plug-in hybrid with the longest range is the Volvo XC90. With like 80 mm. km, 80 or 70 uh, plug in hybrid range, that's crazy. Eh? Mm. All right, the, 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 the X5 even the, is even just the new, like, even the new BM is about there, isn't it? About 80. Uh. Used to be 59. Is 59 it? Is, 59, sorry, it was 29 to 59. Is it? Yeah, 29 to 59. Is it? Is it? The old one was 30. The new one is 60, oh. 70. Uh. I see, I see. I, think, uh, I wasn't aware about that. Yeah, it's gonna. Okay. But not just as buy much. It's a, it's a good car. La. Just buy it. Just there buy it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jerry, 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 no issue. Twice. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, interesting one. Shakti not saying, I promised my wife a car for birthday. She's been hinting wow. at my car. This one now marriage advice, really, this one. Be daily for her. Actually, yeah, uh, Shakti is saying what to buy for her, but he wants to drive the 718 actually. <laughs> no la, no la. Okay, okay. Then, okay. What other nicer cars? What what other what other cars can we suggest? Yes, there you go. A boxster. No, he's like a boxster. <laughs> he's comparing a boxster versus a, a Taycan. So I guess yeah. one is a current current EV, one is a future be an EV. La. <laughs> so uh that can't be there tomorrow. The uh the boxster will not be there, la, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But the yeah. wife is hin hin at Taikan ma, so that's his dilemma. Look, 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 if not the wife exactly in, uh, if the wife give a free range, he would have bought the seven one eight. So his Why? challenge is now how to sell the idea of the seven one eight to the wife. Okay, it's, okay. It's just dilemma. just buy the seven one eight. And then tell your wife that because of the Ukraine war, there's no mm. uh there's no stock for the Titan somehow, you know. Uh, uh hey, the waiting list is ridiculous, it's ridiculous. They won't take a booking. Yeah, time. there's no stock, yeah. There's no stock for the yeah. Titan. And then just just so, come up with whatever excuse la I uh, maybe maybe China, Russia, whatever, yeah, all the country. Actually, actually now. that is Jokes aside, that is a properly legit advice because if you walk yeah. into a Porsche showroom and book a Taycan now, you can't. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, you can say yeah. you, you get the 718 for her while waiting for the Taycan to be to arrive. You know what's funny, Con? The the world mm -hmm. is experiencing chip shortage, right? Yeah. And then when you are making the, the silicon waffle right for the chip, right? Mm. They need mm. an inert gas. Yeah. All right. The inert gas, right? 
30% of the world's supply come from Russia. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, wait for it first. The 70%, right, comes from Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> so now Russia is, oh, Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, US, you all want to sanction me? Ah? Okay, ah. okay, I'm not going to give you the gas from Russia. And I'm, and I'm also going to stuck those coming out from Ukraine. <laughs> you get your own Lada class. Lada, Lada standard class. Yeah. yeah. So, but uh, this is about the, the news I think came out today about the booking. Confirm booking. How to confirm and what stops the issue from backing the booking dates. I tell you all, uh, before election, right, all the tactics are uh, the government always come up with some nonsense stuff or some solid stuff. I mean, you you can't base your decision based on this these people's statement. I tell you, closer to election date, right? Suddenly the government say, "Okay lah, we extend the SSD." Yeah. Then everyone like, "Oh, thank you, thank you." Then they vote. Now they say no <laughs> extension. No? no, I tell you, it's always like that. I'm so used to their election tactic already, you know. Yeah. Yo, yeah. Then ministers, smart people like Nazri as. Nazri, I'm not saying he's a good guy, lah, right? Come out with stupid statements and then make everybody scold him. And inevitably, while people are scolding, you know, the statements will creep beyond personal attack and then it goes into racial. And then that's when they print screen all the people who scold and then they say, hey, look, uh, you see, you think your Chinese friend, your Indian friend like you, uh, they don't like you, uh, you know? I, I tell you, uh, election is always like that. Uh, I always tactic. Uh, so I don't know. So uh, in order to answer this guy, just book whatever car you want. I mean, if if it comes to the date whereby the, the dealership say, oh, no choice, you have to pay SSD. What are you going to do? Right? You can't do anything, uh, right? These are all out of our control. Mm. So just buy when you want to. I mean, just now I saw a question. Should I buy the GLC now to get SSD saving? That's... That's so stupid because the new GLC is coming soon, right? You want to buy the current gen GLC because you want to save a couple of thousand and you know twenty thousand or don't know what lah. Huh? Then the new the new one came out. Yours will depreciate by fifty thousand immediately. So seriously, yeah. Right. So I uh, yeah. I want to pick up this question over here. This guy asking what to call uh, high renew eight to three. Rexton. So wait, the Rexton's engine is very reliable. It's very good. Uh, a lot of mechanics I, I've, I've spoke to say it's fantastic. The only problem is like, yeah, less is worth 10k and below, but you want to mod off-roading, you need to get custom bumper, custom this thing, cost money. You know, if you get a highlight example, it's cheap bumper. It's all available. You buy, use one and pass on and go. And go on. So, so I would I would not get a Rexton because you will spend more money on the aftermarket stuff. This is the uh, what, right? This 2.7 is from Mercedes, right? Yes, correct. It's a yeah. Mercedes engine. So, I think even the yeah. chassis is from Mercedes. Is yeah. it? So it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. fantastic. It's fantastic for, for you to use and trash and all that. It's fantastic. But when you go off road, you need to mod, and mod costs money. So you must get what it's, is the cheapest way to mod. La. Can I ask, uh, Tana, are Sangyong's like mm. Korean cars with maintain, uh, Mercedes maintenance? Um, the parts, the like, uniform, you know? the stuff. The, yeah, the, the, the parts. I'm sure the me mechanically, they are. Yeah. They mechanically, are. My, my, my mechanic swears by them. He said mechanically, the cars are fantastic, reliable. Mm. It's diesel, it's, it's great. But in Malaysia, to more mm. these things off, you need to get people to do it. Like. Overseas, they all they have their own uh, hacksaw, la, own grinder. They do their stuff. It's different. In Malaysia, mm. you want to lift, lift, lift the car. How do you lift the car? Okay, lift yeah. kits. You want to get suspension issue, you know? Uh, common okay. sense. Uh, mod. Uh, anyone who wants to mod their 4 by 4s right? Go and search USJ 4x4. Oh. Yeah. All right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's my good yeah, friend. Good, mm -hmm. Yes, he knows his mm -hmm. shit. Lah, huh? yeah. Okay, uh, this guy made the... You see, when you buy a car with SSD, but your SSD is inside the loan, right? It doesn't make a difference. Lah, like 10, 20,000 seriously Bro. right i mean here you stress about ssd after you got your car then you go and spend 
uh, I don't know, 10K on, on, on coating, you know, another 5K on yeah. tinting, you know. It's, it's... Seriously, don't, don't get stressed over this kind of thing that we cannot mm. control. You, you, when you need a car, just go and buy a car. So don't, 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 don't get stressed about all this. We can't control it. Yeah. Okay. Con, this is a topic that you are already um, close to your heart. Uh, mm-hmm. Torsion peak multi-link. What do you think of the uh, differences in uh, driving characteristics for you? Um, meaning matters. Uh, <laughs> meaning matters. Uh, it depends. On, it really boils down to how the car makers tune the chassis. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. torsion beam cars generally are if a well-tuned torsion beam car is actually more playful than than uh, than a multi-link or double than independent rear suspension because you, Mazda the, 3 yeah Renault Megane yeah Mazda 3 then yeah. uh but if you look at it like a very very good rear double wishbone suspension tune Toyota's TNGA those cars, when you mm-hmm. honor them, they feel like the rear is really sitting at the at the at the bend. It just gives you the the confidence to just power down. Con, con, check your door. Ford is knocking. <laughs> <laughs> Ford is like Ford is like. <laughs> you want to talk handling <laughs> behind my back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's Ford lah. So Ford, yeah. Mm, multi-link, okay. Audi, Audi, multi-link, multi-link. multi-link. Double wishbone, not enough link. We need multi-link, five link, multi-link. six link. <laughs> <laughs> Audi. <laughs> then, then Thomas is like, bro, where do you link? Where's your head link? You link here, link there, <laughs> link what? <laughs> <laughs> that one is wind. Under huh? still, under still. <laughs> <laughs> Link here, link there, link what? Link, link, link. <laughs> it's, you it's, know, it's, con, it's remember I told you my old Audi, uh, the front side got five control arms, each side. Yeah. Five! I think you meant. Yeah, yeah, you mentioned that before. It's crazy. Oh my right? God, yeah. each side got five, man. What the hell? Oh, front, huh? Yeah. Hey, guys, ask, 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 okay, ask, okay, uh, ask away your questions, yeah? Because uh, we're yeah, going yeah, yeah. the old one. Okay, so yeah. Bobby, I think your, your your video came out on the RS. Um, yeah, I think in my video oh, I mentioned it as well. The v- yeah. The uh, sorry, w. sorry. Yeah, F- RS. Oh, the spec is RS. Oh, the spec is RS. F- sorry, sorry. F- sorry. E is the generation. The the RS is the is the marketing spec lah. You know, not everybody also RS. Eh? Porsche should uh, sue yeah. everybody. Porsche should sue everybody that used the RS. Grand Sport, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. only Audi was was like officially given, but Porsche officially given the Grand Sport to Audi. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> anyway, uh, compare, comparison, uh, uh, practicality, civic wins, comfort, civic wins, space, civic wins, spec, civic wins. Uh, even, even for day-to-day handling, reasonable handling, sporty driving handling or uh the civic is is it's just there but i prefer the mazda 3's looks and like what con mentioned just now uh the mazda 3 because it's using is is intentionally using torsion beam to achieve that kind of driving characteristics where the megan achieved and yeah. only certain types of drivers uh would appreciate or pursue this type of uh characteristics in cars Correct. which i like uh which thomas i think would like as well maybe con as well uh but it's not comfortable you know yeah. uh whereas the civic has you know proper independent suspension mm. and and whichever condition is able to put the wheels properly gripping you know so it grabs on the road whereas uh the mazda's one you know you drive you turn the car starts under steering you lift off the throttle the rear starts stepping out and then point the front in so if you are in pursuit of this type of rear wheel drive characteristics (laughs) you will love the mazda trees handling but in pursuit of this they gave up a lot of stuff they gave up a shit ton of stuff you know (laughs) 
comfort being one of it, you know. And then uh, the rear seats aren't as spacious as the Civics and all that. So, yeah. I mean, so that's my thing. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Thomas. Boot space also slightly smaller also. Yeah. Everything, everything. But I, 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 I love the Mazda three. Yeah. You know. And no. and you got torsion, uh, no, torque converter versus the CVT. CVT, yes. Oh, oh, yes. And it's not a normal torque converter. It's a torque converter with a locking clutch plate. Yes. Very nice. And uh, yeah, the Mazda 3 to me is superior. Lah. But it's not practical. I like the Civic. Okay. Yeah. This guy's company, Cordova, my less than a flat. Prepare cost and <laughs> Uh, I want to answer this. I've yes. well since you uh, up power. Yeah, nine k is about the right amount of money that you will end up spending on, because when you factor the cleaning up and also the repairs, right to to get to get your car done. Uh, but if possible, yeah, if you have flood insurance, get the most of the time if the car is badly flooded, right you'll probably write your car off if your car has special perils in coverage 9k would be what caused me to probably change one camshaft on my rs6 plus label the camshaft is 6k plus mm -hmm. and uh we have four but anyway, anyway, I mean, nine uh, k. I mean, you you don't have insurance, the, uh, don't have, uh, So the cleaning no up job will already be at least at least half of the nine k already. So if you can, you know, get it you know, in 9K, you know what's very reasonable. Con, you know mm. what's funny, uh, Mister Tay. Even if you want to mm. sell your MyV, right, you still need to fix it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Not really. Yeah. I noticed that huh? because we sell this cars are uh, damaged plus cars, uh, people yeah. are willing to take risk and buy at a cheap. People are crazy. People are crazy, you know. They want to save fifty thousand ringgit. They buy a car that's not worth, and they they think they're saving money, like you know, So mm. you never know. Like, Rama, no, but I, but that nine state, right? cannot run already, right? Cannot run already, one. No, nine um, state, shouldn't be running already. Nine cannot running, lah. But yeah. I mean, oh, it, 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 the insurance we need to check with my company. I'm not sure if it's covered. Ah, then, yeah. then get the insurance to pay for it, lah. Yeah. Because mm. it's a might be, your insurance is not expensive. You lose the NCD, so what, right? Yeah. Ah, it's not crazy expensive, ma. Your insurance. All right. So if, if you lose the NCD, okay, lah. And 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 oh yeah, one more thing, guys. Uh, if if your house got space, buy some extra cars to collect NCD. Saves you a lot <laughs> when you suddenly need to buy a premium car. Oh, I tell you, the difference is huge, bro. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I get extra Alfa Romeos. Yes, you get extra cars to collect NCBs. It saves you so much. Yeah, it's got the right idea. <laughs> yeah, just I think that's not the cheapest, right? Chiang, you go. You don't search any car model, just sort by price immediately. Cannot, cannot. It will become zero price, zero cost. Find thousand ringgit above. <laughs> no, you just click car and then sort by price. Ah, then see what you get. Ha, ah, one thousand ringgit proton saga. Mm, yeah, thousand ringgit, no? Right. Yellow. And then mm. you use that to collect NCD. Mm. Cheapest the party insurance will cost you about. Five hundred ringgit. Yeah. Mm. Four hundred ringgit. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone from <laughs> additional storeroom. <laughs> con, con, con. Yeah. Con. The cheapest BMW I found uh, is a E thirty six three one eight, which costs seven thousand nine hundred ringgit. And then you get yourself a number plate. Then when you buy your M5, right, you change the number plate of the 3 Series onto the M5. Ah, then you pay the 3 Series road tax. <laughs> so, <laughs> How? Double A, ma. Huh? Interchange, interchange. Oh. No, I don't need interchange, ma. No. Just straight up put a, a fake plate in front of I'm your car that matches your road tax. 
Interchange. Interchange. Yeah. Okay, you want it to be more believable? Yeah. Wow, E39, 8K, con. Oh. Can, can get a parts car, right? Yeah, hey, six Chris normally asks this bro. question a few times already. Let's help answer some questions. Okay, come. C D segment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Family yeah. car. C D segment reliable one. Camryo? Oh, you no, don't want Japanese car. car right. Passat no? Passat no? No hmm. other choice already, right? There's only Passat. Yeah. yeah. Because there's no there's because three twenty I is quite a quite a far quite far from two hundred now already. Yeah. There's there's no hmm. such thing. Or, or Tiguan no? If you want Tiguan also slightly oh. around that price plus minus 220 but around yeah tiguan no? mm. it's more expensive mm. 200 but that if you want an suv or you want a, a, a sedan yeah no? mm. uh yeah there's only passat no other choice if you want a sedan cd segment then yeah. uh tiguan yeah if you don't want japanese passat, best choice okay Mm. Okay, question like to uh, Terry, Terry asking his question a few times, what cards can join EVO and EURO? You, if you just Google uh, EVO and EURO, you will get uh, uh, the EVO and EURO. Like, you go all the way down, there's vehicle qualification criteria. I think that will be the best way for you to like qualify, uh, to see what's qualified. Lah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, generally speaking, it's car guys, cars. Lah. But then yeah. uh, we might be we'll see we'll see we'll see basically now because we we want we want cars to dress up as race cars right so uh so that it looks more happening right so we'll see we'll see okay same thing this year as you frequently uh, yeah. industrial areas quite frequently i think that you can do the job right xc90 is more than 350k uh. Mm, XC60 though. Uh, yeah, lor, a lot uh, XC60, X3, GLC, so many lah. So many. Harrier. Yeah. Right. Oh, there are so many. So if you're going on rough roads, those cars can do it. But if you're going off-roading, different story, right? Industrial yeah, area, uh, I presume it's not it's not like off-roading kind of stuff. So you're going to be fine. You have to people. go like Everest, Fortuna, you know, that kind of stuff. Lah. Mew X. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Bashro has a question. Can I get a new number plate yeah. on your car without buying a new bike or car? So, I, I yes. apparently can burn yeah. your number plate. You can burn your number plate and then get a new one to be there. Uh, you can fit a new plate onto an old car but you cannot fit an old plate onto an old car. You can only fit old plate to new car or new plate oh, to but old car. I think, I think what he means is that, right? He understands this, but can he do this without getting yes. another vehicle? Yeah, can, can, can. Yes. Mm. Yes. Basically, nullify and burn your, your number. If you can yes. oh, burn your number, you can put number number in because people like um got issue the plate because of certain issues you can get it done oh that's okay, what i did okay. uh, Tom, when i when i bought the xc90 the, my uh -huh. first xc90 it came with the 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 standard volvo plate numbers i forgot the number already yeah. then after a while i bought the vip plate and put onto my car hmm. Same goes with my my RS6. When I got the car, mm -hmm. it wasn't my current RAE plate. Then I got myself an RAE plate. You know? Mm -hmm. My Beamer as well. Oh, when I got the car, it was the old plate. Then mm -hmm. I get a I, I get uh the number that corresponds with my wife's birthday, then it's on my Beamer. So you didn't have to like buy a motor to transfer the old plate over? Like? No need. No need. Okay. Yeah. Oh. You can buy you can change number plates anytime oh oh that yeah. i know but i thought that involved buying another another vehicle need, need, no, no need. only con does that only con buy another vehicle for number, number plate one <laughs> anybody else yeah. in the world will do that 
Holy corn. Yeah. Well, we learned something big today. <laughs> okay, uh, Bastro, you've got a long wait. <laughs> um, I want one. Weird project for budget first car. Uh, 30k mark with mark two with one JZ or Sefiro. Eight terawih. Wow. Once you go on the, the, the route of uh, modifying cars, uh, it's 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 just here. It'll keep continuing, like it's, it's it's hard to put a price on it, lah. Yeah, lah. Really it's not our. It, it really First of all, it's not our expertise. Mm. Secondly, after your, I mean, you won't just stop at 30k, right? You take 30k you and yeah. buy a real new drive. Japanese mm. crazy shit. I mean, you are you gonna stop there? You're not gonna spend another fifty thousand, eighty thousand to actually yeah. turbos, HKS this blitz that. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Uh, wait, let's let's. I, I don't think yeah. I don't think twenty k or thirty k would be enough. You, know, if you go that route. Mm. Even if you 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 don't count your cost of buying the car it may not be enough it's it's like people forget that you put an engine inside actually engine cost to install then you go like oh my my lines oh then my uh the wiring mounting, forget the wiring the mounting, or uh, maybe harness it it add up or then brakes bbk breaks itself a big break it without Francis k so it adds up yeah. like you know, so it's not easy to say that you can budget you should buy a car for, for projects because there's no budget you do it because you like it and you keep going on like, you know so mm. yeah. is the best person to talk about this <laughs> oh question over here yeah. uh private to private car sales process buying a loan uh i think this is some uh, we're still in car buying q a so i guess this one kind of falls in it you uh, just take actually, the grant, yeah you take the grant take your bank documents and all that and walk into any banks and then well, apply right, right, now, right now most banks don't accept walk-ins um they are oh so yeah they, they are very strict now don't accept walk-ins from my because mm. i have done i've done public car public car sales right now um yeah. and why this was public bank uh hq in uh, uh there's the uh, hp in um Chantolin, so see that they are all committing certain may bank managers are committing but not all, not all branches generally yeah. they don't want they don't want direct um Walking there customers. are certain branches that do car loan, ma, right? Mm. Go to yeah. branches. But, mm. but mm. somebody in the industry once enlightened me or so. You see, the thing is that, right, for walking customers, uh, these guys, you're walking with a blank slate. Then, you know, all the, the, to compile all the documentations that the bank need to approve the loan, there's a lot of back and forth. Banks much prefer to, to liaise with used car dealers because the used car dealers will help the banks filter out okay this is the no, this no, are, this no. checklist mm. of documents pop, pop, everything mm. compound nicely give to the mm. bank the bank just look okay pop, mm. pop, pop, sign approve or I mean, I mean my my advice to question is um you're more likely you're more likely to get a loan from a bank mm. where the car is currently under loan with uh, so the car's yes. under the bank it's more mm -hmm. because they, they want to keep the the, the, the business in so they're more likely to actually do that because it's, it's within yeah. them moment is with another the bank. car right mm. so in my case my other bank i had to go and pay off the bank first full mm. then up here so um so so yeah so if you go to the same bank as the seller chances are, are, are better but you got to hunt around lah. not easy lah, but you got to hunt around mm. yeah so, so basically if you're, if you're uh, buying if you're buying uh if, if you're buying you generally in in private car sales if you are the seller, you don't arrange the loan. You ask the buyer to arrange their own loan. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This is the general advice. Because there's no salesperson. If the person is buying for you direct, you let the person engage their own banker. And mm. then they will make full payment to once you get an, like a sales agreement up, you know, you, you can drop a sales agreement, invoice, whatever. Um, uh, the bank will also need to know your IC number. So when they create this loan document, it's intentional, they will pay you anyway. So so if you're the if you're the seller, right, it's good to go through mm. a bank because the bank will be the sort of the person holding the money for you, right? Yeah, but safe Thomas, Thomas, now Thomas, sir, uh, wait, let's clarify, yeah. Uh, to the the ruling currently is, sir, uh, you even if you pay deposit, some let's say I'm buying from Bobby, uh, Okay, I pay Bobby. You pay the bank. Deposit, okay, when I go to the bank, uh, the bank will say, uh, ten percent, uh, please pay the bank back. 
Yes. Bank now says uh, they do not accept anybody paying deposit to someone else for a car. All oh, the money yeah. is going to be the bank. And then later they'll pay you back the money that you have to. So correct, correct. we are in the market right now. Yes, so this is how it works. So if you take a booking fee, what I usually mm -hmm. do is that you pay the bank everything, right? Then when the loan goes through, I give you back the booking fee. Lah. And it's some sort of guarantee that, that will go through also, ma, you know? So, so yeah. But, but anyways, the, 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 it's, it's, it's probably, the, practically, I want to answer this guy because he's probably the first time doing it. If you are selling yeah. the car, let the buyer apply their loan. Let them go through the hassle because that's what well, the sales buying. Does, but unfortunately, he's buying. Uh, Oh, he's uh, buying, buying. If you are, yeah. if you are, if you get, if you're gonna buy, you have to solve your own loan, right? Yeah. My my advice for you, Crescent, is another way than what Con and, and Dana would say. You ask your friends who have bought cars before, who have taken loans, ask the agent to contact you, and you talk to the agent because the agent has an incentive to sell you the loan, so they will go through all the hassle, they'll get you the loan and stuff. So use these agents. Don't don't yeah. try to walk in the bank. That's my advice. Because the agents have to make money, they have to hit their targets. They will they will do all the the, the difficult stuff for you. Yeah. That's my advice. Yeah. Okay. And then the uh, JPJ yeah, side, the JPJ side, the money that yeah. the person pay to the bank, right? No, yeah. sorry, Bobby. No, then when it comes to the JPJ side, to save your hassle, when you go to JPJ, right, you see a lot of Chinese men with a sling back on. I mean, not Chinese, uh, whatever. Those 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 people who have a sleep bag standing in front of them. All of them are runners. Yeah. All of them are runners. All right. They they help you is much faster. You just pay them like a hundred fifty ringgit hundred. And general rule of thumb also, the stock com is usually done by the person selling you the car because they have to ensure the car is sellable. So the buyer have usually the seller has to bear the stock com cost. GPJ cost. Uh, this one usually you discuss among yourself, lah. Right, the runner cost, but yeah, uh, usually yeah, the yeah. seller have to ensure the car is sellable, so they have to put their car through postpartum inspection. Yeah. Tana has a very good friend who is a awesome, awesome runner. You know, uh, uh I just use him, Sunil, yeah. Sunil. So very nice yeah. guy. Yeah, get a runner, get a runner. I highly recommend that. Yeah, yeah. Our our Q J our my uncle from Singapore wants to buy an Alpha, right? So he said, hey, we go JP, I'm coming down to from Singapore, you take me to JPJ. I say, Uncle, you stay in the hotel, we have lunch, and then we get the JPJ to come and see us. Okay. <laughs> I say, he say, why? Malaysian efficiency. Then he say, okay, no problem. <laughs> okay, anyway. so questions we got. Uh, let me see. Uh, let's go through here. Um how about this one? Toyota IST or Suzuki Swift? What is a Toyota IST? What's the IST, bro? Uh, IST. It looks like a looks like a MyV one, looks like a hatchback. Oh. Yeah. Get the oh Suzuki Swift lah. Just get the Swift lah. Okay. Oh, Just get the Swift. Yeah, get a Swift. Swift. Two hundred k. Seven seater, boy, hard lah. A lot of oh, people call this, this Toyota. Hey, what's that? Oh, and then two hundred fifty k budget for SUV. Ah, narrow down for us all, or you get a used X three or, you know. Hmm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Tana, you got any options? Um. Yeah, I think they're all fine, like you know. It's, it's, yeah. it's hard because from, from X70, I guess the question is, what is your priority? Is your priority the drive? Is your priority the, the interior? Interior is a big issue for you. So you got to ask. <laughs> because the X70 is so good already. So yeah. you might go like, uh, this is not upgrade anymore. You go to a BMW X3, like not so premium compared to X70. X60, you know? Huh? What is it? X60. 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 Exactly. I mean, if, if, you the, yeah. if you need the rear seats, then XC90, you know, can get second hand mm -hmm. XC90. Yeah. yeah. Can. But a new car, not a lot of options. Nah. New car. No, no option. Nah. CX5, Tiguan. Mm. Yeah. All space, right? Yeah, Tiguan all space. Yeah. It's I around 100, 120. It's a bit of a void, you know, when it comes to new SUV choices. No one got just that they don't feel like an upgrade from X70. See like yeah, that Volvo XC40, 
you have the BMW uh, X1. Yeah, yeah, the X1. Oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. Right, right. 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 Like an upgrade from X70. Correct. Right. The X70 is so good. Hmm. So this guy here, his brother bought a uh, book to GLE 50. Anything else he wants to get uh, except a Volvo? Just Just buy la. La. Well, there's no other option really. That, it's that on the next five. CKD Kayan. Mm. CKD Kayan. And then wait and then wait for three years. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what's the waiting list. Oh, I can tell you that's that's gonna be crazy. Wait. You're not getting your Bro, card this really year. All questionable now, man, nowadays, yeah. 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 Okay. Not a lot of options there. Mm -hmm. I think this one, the answer will be uh MX5 Roadster 2017, huh? For, for for me, I won't pay that much price for a uh, GT86. Uh, 86, mm. I'll pay 120, 110, I'll pay the older one. I won't mm. pay the price. For this price, is definitely the MX5. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a weekend car, bro. No, no. As from a, from a price perspective, for the, for the value, the yeah. is MX5. But between because the two, I might get the GT86 for, for a lower price. Actually, I, I guess we can think that. If we had for like 100k, 110k, right? Why spend yeah. 180k no on the ABC? I agree. I mean, so of many these three cars, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would pick the 86, but not at this price. Yeah, get the older one. Not yeah. at this price. Yeah. Now, if it is the MX5, right? If you can wait for a while, wait for 2018, then you get the you get the updated version with a higher horsepower with the telescopic steering. Hmm. All right. But the 2000, okay, then RF or Roadster? Cause 2018 onwards, Roadster 1.5, RF 2.0. Serious ah? Yes. There's no more Roadster 2 liter ah? No, after the first thing, Roadster one point five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, I prefer the- more power lah, there's more power. The, so the dilemma, isn't it? You you like more power, but then you got the RF. I don't like the RF. I actually I don't I don't, I don't like want, the RF. I don't like the RF either. So the choice is you want more power or you want more open roof. Then Rosal. I will still go one point five actually. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go 5, yeah. The roaster is way better looking. Yeah, and then you got the the buffeting, you know. How much weight you save uh, from the roaster? Some they say they improved the engine a lot in the one point five. I don't know where it is, but they say the engine is improved. I think I think not only the weight, maybe is the where the weight is. The fact the yeah. weight is it's a higher up of the car compared to lower. Hmm. <clears throat> hey, one one point five is nine hundred sixty one kg. Eh? Shit, <laughs> it's what damn lightweight. Hell? Nine six one way, the one point five. Oh, oh, oh. You can turbo everything like fat lane, but I think um, uh, when you go down the whole of turbo co 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 concepts, you know, one thing, second thing, next thing, you know, it's it's a never ending battle. Oh, the RF is not not very heavy, also it's one 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 six. Amazing engineering. Lot, I mean, it's a lot compared to where the weight is. Like. Yeah, but 1.1 1 .1 ton is, is not heavy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 1.1 yeah, right, right. 1 .1 with a mechanical folding hard top. That's crazy. Yeah. Right? That's crazy. 132 okay. horsepower. Comparing a CT sedan, X50, X70, um, trade off. He's uh, selling off the persona to get this for the sister family. X fifty no stock law. We don't need to answer <laughs> X fifty, you have to wait. Don't know how long. Two thousand twenty four. Yeah. You get your car. Right. I'll get an X seventy. I'll get an X seventy one point five. Uh. It's newer. Yeah, and and protons one point five three cylinder is very refined, very very refined. It's more refined than BMW's one point five. <laughs> yeah, smoother. I still remember that video that uh, HP put out in Horizon. 
Com was uh, explaining how why the one point five is more the three cylinder, you know, and then and then Bobby said, "You think I, why you talk to me? I'm like Rachel like that." <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's that's a very old video. Uh. Yeah, man. Yeah, I remember that one. I laugh, I laugh, laughing, laughing so badly. That one. <laughs> uh, wow, two hours thirty four minutes already. Eh. Yeah, let's end it. Let's end it. Last one. Last one. Okay, I don't know what is this. All I know is that Con should get an F10 M5. That's all I know. Yeah, la. Uh, con, 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 you know, uh, ah. see, right, Thomas, everyone has a soulmate car. Thomas wants yeah. the M2, right? Ah. Then Con is an M5. This is soulmate car. Yeah. <laughs> con, con, con. Yeah. You love your white color seat, right? Mm, yeah. They cost the same if it were fitted in a, to an M5. That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so bad, ah! We're gonna catch up, God. <laughs> We're gonna do this every week until Kwan gets his M5. Guys, please send an M. If you have any friends who have M5, right, send them all to Con shop to let him wash. Come, come, wash come, come. Like, wash until he's like, oh, I must buy already. Cannot already. <laughs> yes, yes. Come, bring them, bring them in. All sign up enduro package. I think I think Con is trolling us, uh. Huh? Why, uh? He just say only F ten M five. He yeah. still love. He still want another E thirty nine. Okay, Con. E thirty nine. Three two five. E thirty nine. Uh, 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 five three zero. Right? Is it yeah. a five three zero? Right? Yeah. What? Right. And then E thirty nine M five. <laughs> Okay, okay Con, how's Con? Wait. Why don't you huh? consider a converted 4.4 V8 uh, E39? He don't want. The time Prakash got one beautiful one yeah. for sale. Yeah, yeah. Why? I mean, why not? Why not? Really? No, why, no, why not? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I want to know why not. If it's the sound, everything is there, why not we consider a converted mod unit? He don't want. Is it, is it because it's too easy to get? Uh? Mm, no, <laughs> no. Uh, it's a V8, ma. It's a Ethernet, ma. No, Google, 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 it's Google, different. He wants to be able to say, I got an M5. That's it. Yeah. And cannot be converted. Cannot, you know, even if the M5 is broken down, it's okay. Mm. It's an M5. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, con! I got one M five F ten. Oh, come bring, bring to bring to the shop. So bring you got M five already. If you already got an M five F ten, right? Then you uh, go for your GPR yeah. lah. What was the point? You buy another M five, same engine, uh, yeah. higher tune. You know, no point uh. Just just go buy a GTR. Okay, if you are if you already have an M five, and no actually point you will lose that. less money on the on the GTR. Okay, yeah. Mr. Bobby, yeah, GTR, please uh, uh, contact. Please contact us on Facebook. Come to the mm. shop. I will come also. Uh, mm. we'll, we'll go and uh, poison corn. Uh, <laughs> uh, Thomas will come also, you know. Let's come, come, come. Huh? Oh. Whoa. Hey. 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 Corn, okay, ma. Okay, manual. Exactly, okay. I see this car before. It, it's, it's nice. Yeah. It's manual. It's nice. a clean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. JD car, some more. Bro, complete it. Three, two, five, five, two, five, five, three, oh, five, forty. Oh, sweet. Ah, Con cannot tahan the orange engine cover already. Change can change that, yo. I'll paint for you for free, manual, Con. Hey. Bro, <laughs> six feet manual. I offered Con to pay his road tax uh, last time. Uh. He's I know. Tax, uh. Con, he also don't want to buy. Uh. I think Con yeah. don't want to this achieve car, his dream. This car huh? is more, more cheaper than Thomas's uh, E30 318i. It's cheaper than that 318i. And see, double guys, the cylinders, right? Guys, 
Top, con prefers the adjective. Uh, no, no, it's called a verb, right? Dreaming. Then, then <laughs> he wants to continue dreaming. He wants the ing there. Yeah. I I as long, I, I as long as want to drive one. Dream. Actually, uh, you're right. Are there any in Malaysia? God. God. Yes. God. I happen to know of one that that received an offer for of 250k the, the owner said no deal so so if today they're fine for sale for 250k would you buy one i don't have 250k cash to to spend on one unfortunately okay. so don't this is the car you buy, buy and then you sell also around the same price yeah mm. i think your best e39 m5 is not worth buying it's just the hype and the couch and all yeah. that hey, bro, you know, Brandon yeah. has one. He says is uh, is he say is not a great car. E sixty for not. him was like oh, he said E sixty was so good. Yeah. yeah. Okay lah. Hmm. Ah. Bobby asking Bobby. <laughs> Sorry, Bobby asking Con. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Thinking oh. of finding the money. It will be epic, bro. Ready? If yeah. Con get that car right. 525, 530, 540. I, I, can, I can imagine Korn driving a manual E39 V8. Oh, my God. You see, uh, Korn, if you buy an F10 M5, right, huh? there might come the day where you met an E39 M5 owner because you're already in the M5 group. Mm -hmm. And then one day, maybe you are having tea with the E39 M5 owner, right? Then he was like, hey, so nice, uh, your F10 so fast. My one's damn slow. Actually, I got bored with my car already. Then you offer him soft car law. I don't, I don't take a cent from you. Then you got your E thirty nine M five. But if you don't get your F ten M five, right, you are never invited into the M five group. You will never get to meet an E thirty nine M five owner. And well, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> See. Uh, look at picture. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, stop uh, capturing uh, 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 on our Monday live show already. Hey, no, I will always be here. <laughs> I'll always be here. No, we want we want con to 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 you know to uh, no because this year is the last year. Uh, this year is the last year to get the those hundred eighty k hundred ninety k M five. <laughs> But 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 I do hear what I'm saying. I think huh? that Bobby, Steam is Bobby Steam D. I do hear what, what, what I'm saying, sir, about no like mm. as, as 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 car guys, sir. Some of mm. you see uh, that the the guy has got a kindred spirit for a car, like like Thomas, mm. his um, M2, his M2 and his Boxster. Mm. There's this kindred spirit about Thomas and M2 la. You can't get any mm. from M2, you know, from BMW. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and and Bobby and Audis and and BF they said there's something about there you see you know oh. or now step you know but con for you uh, mm. something about F5 uh, BM uh, you, you are BM uh, you are BMW so, M5 bro yeah M5 yep, yep. Kindred spirit you yeah, made man. a bit together getting Get there getting there mm. <laughs> yeah it's your it's your it's your it's your uh soulmate car bro soulmate yeah. Ah, is your soulmate car Beautiful. so nice? So nice. well, I was, I was there with I was there at this location where the picture is taken. Uh, we know. Mm. Yeah, and then but you are in the position to buy you. Mm. Ah, mm. Mm. bro, car I... performance in a sedan, bro. <laughs> the car power in the sedan. Come, guys, need somebody, need, need more people to book Enduro Watch packages, then I will afford my M5 oh, soon enough. And then ah. get an M5. <laughs> <laughs> Are you he already? No. <laughs> No, the current the current ones that they are, they are left are the ones that were, that are that are they are doing a really good job. So they are the ones yeah. who will help me along the way. Mm. Mm. Okay, okay. So guys, so, uh, guys. Mm. 
uh, help us share this session and uh, yeah. get more people, get more friends to watch it, to to yeah. support our show, that's help that's us that's share that's this. Cool. Uh -huh. All right. And, and uh, uh, yeah. let everybody know if they have a car buying question, um, yeah. come to us every Monday. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's time mm -hmm. to end the session. It's been almost three hours already. Good night, everybody. See you next week. Bye, guys. Bye. Good night. Thank you.